uh, talking about see it, say it, sort it. I texted the BTP once. Someone was doing heroin and carriage on my morning commute. <laughs> Listen, you need a, a little uh, a little brightener, don't you? <laughs> And they're live and are in the morning. Just, oh, t- do you know? Just to take the edge off before you a lo- go. A lightener. I mean, if we've, got some her- <laughs> if we've got some heroin for the morning, that'll probably help us get through to the 24 hours, won't it? Uh, yeah, sure. It's not going to put you to sleep, you know? Like, maybe some amphetamines might be better. Okay. I, I'm just suggesting, I'm just spitballing here. But, yeah. <laughs> Is that what they call it? I don't know anything about drugs. No. No, me neither. I, I don't even know what they are. Um, <laughs> I have never. Speak to a member of station staff or text the British Transport Police. It does say that. See it, say it, sort it. Sorted. The British Transport Police aren't going to do anything. They can't even fucking stop people running past without a ticket. Just jumping over they're not there. And they're they're the not there. Away. They're at, they're at a station many miles away. Yeah, we'll get straight to your bomb. They couldn't even get us off the train <laughs> on the way back from London when the track froze. I thought you said, we'll get straight to your bum. I thought you said that too. But you said bomb. Well, you told that. Well, I wish I'd said Well, I bum. knew what it was, but I wanted to... <laughs> Make a silly joke. <laughs> we'll get straight into your bum, Captain Brilliant. Got my usual carriage, which optimised oh, my travel in such a way that I was aligned with the exit I intended to take from the train on arriving at my destination station. So it'll be the third time I've said in as many days that Aletha's just like Matt Murphy. <laughs> I left my fucking clipboard over there, didn't I? I'll, I'll go get it. I'm going to get a beer in a moment and I'll get you a clipboard. Thank you. Is that Monk, the TV detective? Mm. Easy now, boys. It's Ali Lolo. Wee! Wee! What are you doing here on a Saturday? Well, well Ali. Well, Ali, if you'd like to ask your famous question, uh, then, uh, then we'll the answer, answer for once is finally yes. yes. Uh, leaning against the back there. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Cock or ball, cock or ball. So I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy chatting with the, the good captain, but is there anything in particular you would like to lean into in the next half an hour or so? I guess the most obvious one would be this one. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. We haven't. We we skipped yeah. past that. Oh yeah, um, we did go past that. But so, I will yes. get the things we need for that. Yes, of course. Oh, <laughs> you're playing GTA tonight. Fuck's sake, Ali. No, <laughs> that was one of the things he says. Yeah, that is one of the things he says. No, um, you know the clues in the title. Really, I know you never look at the titles, but have a look. Just just this once. Have a look at the title. <sighs> See what you think. Maybe there's another question you might ask. I was hoping Reese might be here. I brought some lovely, lovely beers with me. Well, if you drop him a uh, a message, I'm sure he will be. He just forgets these things. He's quite forgetful in his old what age. What is the best Reece? methodology by with which to contact him? Facebook, I would suggest. Uh, co- oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, 24-hour stream. How long are you streaming for? Um, t- t- 24 hours, mate. We've done 9 hours and 31 minutes so far. You're going to do a full 24 hours? Well, we'll be here. We might sleep a little bit in, in the middle of it, but we'll still be here. Yeah. 12 hours. Thank you, James. I'm t- he's out in London, apparently. Hmm. But never mind. It's not far away. You could just hop on a train and come down then. Get involved. Extra special guest at 3 a.m.? <laughs> Why the fuck not? So, look, just for me, because I'm at full. Yes, indeed. Um, are you, are you going to have a break of sleep, or are you just continuously doing this? Well, or? we're going to try and continuously do it but you know if we want to tag team some naps then we'll we'll have a little nap <laughs> while the other person does something and, and work it out you're incredibly creative so i'm sure you'll find something to fill the uh oh we've got plenty to do and there's no there's no problem we'll we just do. don't know whether we can manage actually not sleeping i know i can't i think he's got a better chance of not sleeping than me but i'm really bloody minded i'm really stubborn <laughs> so i might be like but i'm also stubborn enough to go like if this is bullshit i'll just switch off the stream and I'll be like what happened? I thought you were going to do 24 hours. I mean, like, I yeah, think the answer is if there's no one here at like at 3 a.m., like, yeah, we're going to have a little nap. Do star jumps if you get bored or tired. <laughs> oh, fair play. We've got a fair few people in. And thank oh, you very wow. much for joining I, us. I, I appreciate that. We haven't been keeping an eye on the, uh, on the numbers. Say, but I very much appreciate you all coming. That's lots wonderful. Lots of bits from people, lots of subs. We had subs earlier from <clears> Princess <throat> Rail. We've got so many bits from uh, Will. Yeah, we should also say this is not a charity 24 hour stream, no. but we are raising money. We are raising money. To go on a banger rally across Europe, make lots of wonderful content. Do don't get me started on the road, mm. and uh, have a lot of fun, and you get to follow it all along. Did um, you nap sleep before the stream? Well, we, I mean, the stream started at twelve, so I 12 slept midday. Until, yeah, I slept until nine, and then got up then. I went. I went to bed early last night. By I early, went, I mean ten o'clock. I um, went to bed about one o'clock in the morning after we went for cocktails. And then uh, <laughs> I, my plan was to sleep through till ten o'clock and have. So 12 hours of sleep. But unfortunately, my body clock said, 
go fuck yourself, and I was awake at seven. I yeah, I've been waking up super early at five and six o'clock in the morning. Yeah, all the it's time. It's unfortunate, but there you go. It's so light now in the morning, so you know. Hmm. There you go. Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah! Uh. Drunk Super Mario. Well, no, I don't know that we'll be drunk. I mean, if we're drunk, we're definitely going to fall asleep. This is nice and everything. We'll have some wine and stuff, but I honestly think it's going to be... It's quite a steady. It's not like a... Yeah, no, I'd say we're not smashing it. Ah, back, I we? saw something yeah. the other day. So I'm going to get some rid of some of these glasses. And make it a little um, I saw something you like this, Jeremy, and it was how to do... Um, it was a, a Jäger bomb. Um, so they took... That was a fun noise. That was a fun noise. That's because the whiskey glasses are made of good quality glass. Um, uh, you basically... You get a shot glass. This is for everyone. You get a shot glass. You put it on top of something, and then you put the glass that you're going to bomb it into on it, and then you invert the whole thing. So the shot glass with the Jaeger on is upside down yeah, yeah. in the glass, and then you you put your Jägermeister in, and it, it seals it, and it remains, and it looks like Darth Vader's helmet. Oh, cool. And then you take it off, and then it's in the drink, and it's a different way to do a Jaeger bomb. Ooh. I should have brought my Jaeger, and I could have demonstrated. There you go. Yeah. Uh, alcohol makes you tired, doesn't it? It is. It does make you tired. Uh, and this is our quandary. But, um, but it also makes you fun. So it can make you like steady aware if you're steady with it. Mm. Mm. A U bomb, Jaeger. Yes, a U bomb. <coughs> when you're ordering food from Mukbang. Well, oh, shit. we haven't fully decided that, really. No, we oh, were going to, though. Yeah, well, the plan was to order some food at some point, but we're, we're doing all right. <laughs> yeah. OMG Harmstone. Everybody loves Jaeger. Uh, I've seen some TikToks that had a Star Wars theme. That looked pretty cool. There you go. Mm. Mm. Uh, right, you you grabbed some stuff. Do you want to do that now? Yeah, why not? Okay, cool. Let me lost find my, it on my... Oh, no, uh, almost lost my... There it is. Boop, boop, boop. You're just trying to touch me. Yeah. This is, uh, me. This is another little uh, little fun bit of mm. segment that you might remember. Mm. Cap- oh, Captain, my Captain. Oh, it's a uh, bit. We've actually carried this through completely. We we totally stole yeah, this from this Cocktails and, well, they don't, and we do it quite a lot. They so. don't belong to anyone. They're for the use of the network, really, you know? So it's... The network has died now. It has, yeah. It's has now, it? It's now yeah, just we killed it. It's now just don't get me started. Yeah. 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 We destroyed it. Yeah. Anyway, why can't I fucking see it? The network, because you destroyed it. There it, it. is. Uh, <laughs> this is the segment, game, fun bit of our Siri, that we like to call Drinkity Drink! <laughs> Drinkity drink, drinkity drink. Oh, I didn't like that one. Drinkity drink, drinkity drink, drinkity drink, drinkity drink, drinkity drink. Drinkity drink. Drinkity drink. Drinkity drink. <laughs> it was not ready for that sting. No. I don't think you're ready for this sting. My 4K is too 4K really delicious, delicious for you, babe. Right. You've <clears> got a little thing over there and oh. a little pen. Yes. Now, for regular viewers of Don't Get Me Started that are used to drinkity drink, you, you will note that it is normally Alex who has prepared the drinkity drinks. And me doing the answering. However, for a special little treat this time around for the 24-hour stream, I have prepared the questions. How exciting. And both Captain Brilliant and Alex will respond. Uh, so you can get extra points. If you match with either of them, you yes. will get a point. Yes. Ah. If they match, if you don't match with anybody, yes. then you get a point. It's category says. So we basically, yeah. okay. They, if we they have match- to get something that they don't get, then we win a point. But if they match with us, they get a point. And if yeah. we both write the same thing, they get double points. There you you know, we'll make the points up as we go along. Yes. We'll make it up as we go along. Uh, the general rule is uh, don't be a cunt. General rule is don't be a cunt. Yeah. Is that rule seven? <laughs> rule seven. Yeah, don't, be a, don't, don't take, take the, the piss. piss. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Right. We ready? I'm yeah. ready. First question, ready drinkity now? drink. I've grown bored of baked beans, oh. said Alex. <laughs> From now on, I shall cover my Weetabix in blank. I've grown bored of baked beans, says Alex. From now on, I shall cover my Weetabix in blank. Oh, what shall I cover it in? Drinkity drink, drinkity drink. Drinkity drink, drinkity drink. Well, I do drink, like this drink, thing. Drinkity drink, drinkity drink. Drinkity drink. Drink, 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 drink. I love how she gets so much bass in her burp. Burp. There is. Mm. I mean, I think this is good on... Covered in oh, good for all time zones. Covered in bourbon. Mm. Yeah, right. I've grown bored of baked beans. Sad Alex, you're both ready, actually. I'm ready, yeah. yeah. Okay. From now on, I shall cover my Weetabix in, Captain... Baked bollocks. <laughs> and I will cover my Weetabix in, Alex... Ketchup. Oh, throwing back you to ketchup in everything. Little so cute girl. So from the chat, we have piss, 
That's a good answer. Milk. Milk. Uh, yes, you do. Just type just in chat. Type in I'm glad chat. you worked that out. I didn't see your question. Coffee beans. Peas. Gravy. Good answer as well. Nice callback. <laughs> Bourbon. Bourbon. Very nice. Sweet peas. Another good. There's a lot Little of good answers peas. here. Blood pudding. Mm. And wine. You have, you have ketchup, ketchup on, on your weed to bit. Only what if the there's fuck? no beans. Tears of my enemies. Well, <laughs> tomato <laughs> sauce. I have to say that nobody got ketchup or baked bollocks. Yes, so, so you, you each get a point. Nice. I'll make a note of that. Um, mm. I would say little cute girl. I'll read girl. their answers next time. I'm not used to doing this. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah, that's fair I enough. would I'm say a little cute that. girl that I would definitely call it, rather than blood pudding, I would call it black pudding. Whoa, black pudding. Bam, 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 bam. whoa. Should probably give them more chance to answer as well. Lag Bitter and lemon. Stuff. Yeah, I've sure. learned my lesson. Well, I've done it quite a lot. Well, yes. Well, so this is my first this time. This is your first time. I'll get it right next time, I promise. I love Hansen. Rear Admiral shirt. Thank you. It's I'm, a great shirt. You look good in it. I'm going to tell you just very quickly that I bought this the other day because I've lost about 37 pounds right, in weight cry. since the beginning <laughs> of the year. I'm two and a half stone and a little bit lighter and none of my clothes fit me. So I bought this I as a it. new shirt. Thank you. We should go out in it. I, hey. my, my plan is to be under 100 kilos for Glastonbury when we go to Glastonbury in like three weeks time. Result, result, result. Mm. That's it. And I'll show up now about my weight loss. No, I love it. Absolutely fine. I, I'm still Thank trying you, to get rid of this Hansen. fucking cough so I can go running again. It's doing my head <laughs> in. I've had this cough for four weeks. Do you want it when you're running? Do you want to do the park run on a Saturday morning? Park run. Um, maybe when I'm not unfit and I can actually run for 5K. If you want to do it, just tap me up. I will. And anyone will. in the chat, if you want to do it with us, because you can do it anywhere in the country. I'll always tap you up, but it won't have anything to do with running. <laughs> Question two. Yes. Yep. Sometimes I wake up too early. Instead of lying there awake in bed, I prefer to get up and play with my blank. <laughs> Sometimes I wake up too early. Instead of lying there awake in bed, I prefer to get up and play with my blank. Drink a dee drink, drink a dee drink. I drink. almost always have this in my in my hands when I'm in bed. Fuck. I have to say, there is there is very not my phone. Oh, not my phone, oh, not my cock. Oh, I almost always have fuck. this when I get up or if I'm in bed. <laughs> It never leaves my hand. Can I, so if we say Think a different word for the same thing, the synonyms will will net a point. Right. Mm. Yeah. So Giant for example, Japanese was, was in the it, in the chat so far, we have <laughs> cock and willy. That will be the same. Cockerel. Dingaling. Be the same. Dingaling. Yeah. Cockerel. So there there are plenty of synonyms. My for Jar Jar Ding Dong. Star Trek <laughs> collector. <for the> <laughs> Keep those answers ding -dong! coming. Ding Dong. Oh, we just give him a minute. Do you know no, I've been give him a minute to get some answers? I was going to say I uh, I've been watching Nova as of recently, and uh, I uh, oh, love recently. I love your stream. A year ago is like fucking <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah. Well, it's uh, it, recently for me could be up to four years ago. I love your stream. I love don't get me started. It's great to be here. Uh, but when I want to chill out, sometimes just chilling out in Nova's stream is a lot of fun. He's the yeah. most chill guy. Like you guys chill. are He's much more chill. emotional roller coaster. We are every time I'm we are watching it. It's you true. are intense, and I love it. But when I want to just when I've had a really shit day and I want to chill out, I love Nova Stream, and I just want to say that. Yeah, yeah. Don't we all? Don't we all? But then, Ali Lola says Rubik's cube. Is that like a penis? <laughs> That's what I call my Rubik's cube because it's a, a puzzle to open it. <laughs> Let's see what the chat has got. First of all, sometimes I wake up too early. Instead of lying there awake in bed, I prefer to get up and play yeah. with my mm -hmm. cock. Says Jaeger. Toys. Says James31. Clock. Says Ali Law Law Law. You've got to set it up in the head. You've got to make sure it's the right time when you yeah. get up in the morning. Dingling says Will. <laughs> cock or ball, says Aletha, hedging her bets. Willie says Little Cute Girl. <laughs> Just say cock, Ashley. Just say cock. Stop fucking Just around. Just say Willie. rooster. Willie. Just Willie. say rooster and stop fucking around. Giant Japanese What's It Christmas thing, says MJ Harmstone. It's a good callback. I'm sure that answer will come up at some point tonight. Star Trek Collectible says Nova. Cockroll says Dr. Fruit Bat. My Jar Jar Ding Dong, or is that Ya Ya Ding Dong? Ya Ding Dong. Ya Ya Ding Dong. Yeah. There you go. It's a good, good ja Eurovision ja reference. Ding Dong. Uh, Switch says Keris, going for the truth of the matter. That's exactly what, what Alex will play with in bed. Uh, ding Dong. <laughs> ding Lefer. Dong. Tablet says Welsh Nana K. Uh, Rubik's Cube says Ali Law Law Law. And I think that is it. Duff, welcome in. Play along in the next one. Why don't hey, you? It's Duff. great to see hey, you. Duff. Play Ya Ya Ding Dong. Sometimes I wake up too early. Instead of lying there awake in bed, I prefer to get up and play with my Alex. Nintendo Switch. Way point for Karis. No points for Alex. I prefer to get up and play with my 
Pink Obo. So anyone that said cock or their very very Oh, opinion. that's a euphemism, is yes, it? Yes, it's a Pink Obo. Okay. I am a self <laughs> I'm a self-confessed player of the Pink Obo. Many, so, many points for anyone who said anything, anything to cock, related to the and penis. If you said switch, which So was I Paris. get no points. No, neither of us do. No. So, no. I wanted to point yeah, I was like, when I get up, I play with my switch. It just went factual. Yeah. And yeah. I did I thought about what I'd have in my hand, though, I was honest. <laughs> hey Duff. Hey Duff. Fucking love you, man. Okay, one point to me, one point to you. Does clock, clock does count? not count because my penis is not, it's not a euphemism for a clock. It doesn't tell time. No. And to, I don't know, Ali, were you meaning it as a as a Near euphemism? enough to cock. Yeah, I mean, I mean, depends on your intent. And if, only you know your intent. If it was on my right wrist, it would be pretty near to my cock. That's mm. true. I mean, we're not the fucking <laughs> blankety blank police. Like, I mean, there's you, no... Only you, Ali, can Only say. you know the truth. And you can either play the game honestly or you cannot. I meant alarm clock. Alarm if clock. you confuse your alarm clock with a penis, you think you've got yeah, troubles over your I think own. that's a no in that sense. In that sense. Well, that's enough. <laughs> Question three. Any Button Gaming finally shared one of his confessions with us. <laughs> he said that one fine Sunday afternoon, his mother caught him polishing his blank. Any Button Gaming finally shared one of his confessions with us. He said that one fine Sunday afternoon, his mother caught him polishing his blank. <laughs> Darren Legend. Yeah, you've still got to answer it. Drinkity drink, 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 drinkity drink. drink, 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 drink. Uh, it's like she's in the room with us. If you guys have answered, you can have oh, a little yeah. look at the chat. We'll give them a little, no, a little longer to answer. It's America, Sash. <laughs> <laughs> There are some great answers, by the way. And if you do provide a particularly stimulating <laughs> answer, I'll give you extra points oh, yeah. for the fun of it. <laughs> Commemorative Resident Evil 4 chains, Chainsaw Control of a GameCube. We've mm. all, we all rushed out to get one. Mm. Oh, we need a bit of arbitration on the last one. Uh, Welsh Nanaka said, I would call that Switch a tablet, no. as in an electronic device. No, no, oh, no, no. They I've got not. to deny that. No, yeah. no, no, not the This same is thing. a particular brand Sorry, of computer Nanaka. device. I love you with Sorry. all my heart. Every I can't bit give you heart. that one. I'm yeah. afraid. I didn't think it, but anyway. Okay. From the chat, first of all, then. ABG finally shared one of his confessions with us. He said that one fine Sunday afternoon, his mother caught him polishing his cock, says Jaeger. Uh, Willie, <laughs> says Lil Cute Guy 6. Just say cock. Double down. I'm begging you. Just type cock in the chat and press enter. You won't go blind. It'll be fine. Joystick, says James31. Mm -hmm. Ring, says MJ Harmstone. And by ring, I mean butthole. <laughs> <laughs> Big red button, says Duff. By that, I mean bum <laughs> Can of Foster, says Ali. That sounds about right. Joystick also, says Keris. Helmet, says Will. It's a good answer. Miss America Sash is a <laughs> classic answer. And if that is not an answer that these guys give, you will probably get an extra point. I really wish it was. Joystick I, I, is the prevailing answer. D Duncan the Singer in there as well. Commemorative Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4. Chainsaw controller for GameCube. So it's very specific. I hope it pays off for you. hope it's up there. Glasses, says Nova. Bald head. <laughs> Says Welsh Nana K. Uh, ABG is not bald, but maybe he shaved Thinking just for the me? occasion. Yeah. Um, and that is it. We'll go for okay. the captain or the rear admiral for us this time. Any Button Gaming finally shared one of his confessions with us. He said that one fine Sunday afternoon, his mother caught him polishing his miniature bust of Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> I mean, don't don't we all? Well, he's a classy guy. We know that. So his mother Alex caught him polishing his. Ford Escort. <laughs> As I say, he's a classy guy and he only has the very best in uh, automotive uh, Has he uh, actually options. got a Ford Escort? That I don't know, be... but it was like the most outrageously <laughs> common. I was going like... Thinking, I'm not giving these pricks any points, so I'm going to go out there. I, was going to, I almost went Ford Capri. I don't get a point for a miniature bust of Margaret Thatcher. You don't get a point for that, I'm afraid, no. Uh, I am going to give Aletha a bonus point for, uh, for Miss America Sash, because that's inspired. And I feel like I do have to give an extra point for doc to Dr. Fruit Bat for commemorative Resident Evil 4 chainsaw controller for GameCube because that's just fucking out there, isn't that's it? That's really, yeah, something yeah. else. That is, that is fucking out there. Right, we don't get... But do we get points for not get... Because nobody got ours, basically. But, oh, yes, I mean, you do. We indeed. did get points. Yes. I mean, yours was quite difficult to get. Mm, but yeah. that's... Listen. But also, if that happens again, I do feel like you're breaking rules. seven. Well, when I go ridiculous, when I take the piss... They can't... Oh, right, oh, right, 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 right. But that's fine. I still find it funny. Uh, do you have an update, updated leaderboard, please, Jazz? Yes, I do, Ali. You are on zero. Everyone else is on more than zero. <laughs> I have two points. I can tell you that. I have two points. I can tell you that. 
Question four. You better get this one. Okay. That's all I'm saying. For Rear Admiral Brilliant's remake of From Russia With Love, (laughs) he has been forced to make some budget cuts. (laughs) Instead of stroking his cat, Blofeld must stroke his blank. For Rear Admiral Brilliant's remake of From Russia With Love, you try saying that, there's a lot of R's Mm. in there. He has been forced to make some budget cuts. Instead of stroking his cat, Blofeld must stroke his blank. Jaeger really doubling down on that cock. It's all in on cock today. Bond related. Well, yeah. But it's also Captain Brilliant related. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, that's Rear true. Admiral. You answer as you feel. Keep uh, yeah. flipping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it. By all means. There are some very good James Bond related answers. Let's keep going. Uh, let me. Is it Jeremy who's doubling down on the cock? Hey, I just said I just say blank. What you put there is not my problem. It's almost ten o'clock. What the fuck's wrong with us? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is normally the time that we're we're thinking about wrapping it up. Yeah, I know. Just call this call this right here. It's the time we wanted. Yeah. I did think this morning. Why the fuck didn't we start at seven a.m. so that we weren't staying up like ridiculously late the next day as well? If you but... had started at seven a.m. this morning, you'd be asleep now. Yeah, we wouldn't have drunk until the same time. True. Well, we'll see. We're here now. Yeah, we'll we'll make it work. Okay, for Rear Admiral Brilliant, I had Captain on here, but we've since promoted him. Hey, no, that's fine. <laughs> for his remake of From Russia with Love, a wonderful James Bond film, <laughs> he has been forced to make some budget cuts. Instead of stroking his cat, Blofeld must now stroke his cock. Says Jaeger. His Willie. Says Ali, law, law, law. <laughs> you can say cock too. What the fuck is, is what the fuck's wrong with you? Pillow. It's Alan Partridge pillow. That's, have you got an Alan Partridge I, pillow? I, I don't, but I want one. There you go. Gerbil says James. That's a good answer. Dog says little cute girl. Mm. Pussy galore says Harmstone. Mm. <laughs> His chemically burnt urethra says Duncan the singer. <laughs> you wouldn't stroke it. He does have one of those. Oh know. my Where, God. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, head and dream of bygone days when it had hair oh. says Dr. Fruitbat. Well, that, that's unfair. <laughs> Has Blofeld got hair? No, he doesn't. No. He's bald. There no. you go. Um, except for um, Diamonds Are Forever. When he has a hair of diamonds? No, or... he, he, where he has a full head of hair. Oh. And he says things like, Right idea, Bond. Wrong. Wrong. Pussy. pussy. Was it a different actor? Yes. Why did they do that? Right did he die? idea, Bond. Wrong. Pussy. Wrong. He would have looked like Miguel in a few days if you give him the poor oh. chapa chance. <laughs> did the other Blofeld die? Uh, Donald yeah, Pleasance he... may well have died but... which is why they replaced him with someone yeah. with hair couldn't they have shaved his head that seems like a really uh, it, shit bit it, of continuity yeah I just the actor didn't want to be bald I don't think Fucking a bit man. like the, do- the dude that was in the old Batman series in the 60s wouldn't shave his moustache after the guy that played the Joker, played the Joker so, he just put so makeup they put makeup over his moustache fucking hire someone else pricks anyway dead parrots says Welsh Nana Kay. state distributed dildo says Aletha wow. it's very specific not just any dildo State distributed. <laughs> Data's fully functional attachment, says Nova. Uh, yes. Lightbringer, says Jaeger. Nice. Offering a second answer. For two days. <laughs> and Caesar Romero. Is that the actor? It yes, was the actor. Was stroking his Caesar Romero. Well done, Duffy. He's stroking his Caesar Romero. That's, that's, that's what I call it. Well, I wonder if anyone has got anything close to what you have. There are a myriad of answers here. For Captain Brilliant, Rear Admiral Brilliant's remake of From, From Russia with Love. Really hard to say. He has been forced to make some budget cuts instead of stroking his cat. Blofeld must stroke his, Alex. Right idea, Harmstone. Right pussy. Pussy galore. <laughs> Wee, that's a point for Harmstone. Blofeld must stroke his... Frothy head. Frothy head. So somebody, a lot, a few people did say head. Yeah, so... I'm going to go with head. Yeah, head. Mm. So Dr. Fruitback gets a point for that. Who else said head? Uh, I think it's just... It's just Dr. Fruit back there that gets the point. And no point for you, I'm afraid, Rear Admiral. Boom, Harmstone. Mm. There and you when go. you're not taking the Rule 7, they, uh, it's harder than you think. Mm. <laughs> there have been some good points distributed today. Mm. I do want to give some bonus points, actually. Go for it. Uh, I'm going to give Nova an extra point for Data's fully functional attachment. Nice. That's, that's nice. good. Yeah, nice. Being as we're on a bit of a Star Trek kick in this 24-hour stream. It's fully functional. Um, state distributed dildo. 
I really don't understand that, so that's worth a point. I love the fact that the government have decided that everyone needs Everyone one. needs a dildo. Well, it's Russia, isn't it? It's from Russia, so... Ah. With love. With love. Oh, state distributed. That makes it even better. Definitely worth yeah. a point. Yes. Uh, or so they say. There's got to be a point for Duncan Fessing as chemical burnt urethra. Chemical urethra. burnt urethra. Okay. It's all right now. It's fine now. All right now. And James 31's gerbil. Also nice. Gets a point. So there's loads of points. Points for everyone, or at least the people that I said get points. The chat, the are, the chat are being very good. They're very good. How are we faring? The, they're on Harley. The money. Harley, we're doing okay. We're doing all right so far? Yeah. Almost 10 hours in and. Son of a Rachel. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, Not yeah. a Rachel. The Rachel. Son of Rachel. <laughs> That's true. Rachel, the uh, character from Blade Runner. Right. It's his mum. So she's a, you know. The one in the bubble. She's a replicant. The one who they go to see. In the bubble. Is she in the bubble? She gets, she's got no immune system. Spoilers. I don't remember. Oh, if you've not seen it by now, I have, then... Well, I mean, have, yeah, you can say. <laughs> what do you mean? There hasn't been enough time since the distribution the of Blade bubble. Runner and now. It's only been, what? I'm thinking of the book. 45 years? Yeah. <laughs> sure. Probably has been 45 I years. don't know when it came out. I'll tell, you something, I'll tell you something. I was looking at the June books the other day, and if you think June starts off reasonably sensible, it goes... Fucking mental. Like, it was already pretty mental. Yeah. In the third book, one of them turns into a worm. Half man, half worm, and becomes God Emperor of the Universe. Shit. Spoiler alert. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> All right, then. I've seen I'm 11 times. Boy. Oh, no, yes. Yeah, the final question. Yes. You all better not tie, because I don't have a tiebreaker. So make I'll just make it up and yeah. declare someone a winner. Duncan the Singer ordered oh. some new LARP gear from the fantasy shop, but instead of the staff he ordered, they delivered him a blank. Duncan the Singer ordered some new LARP gear from the fantasy shop, but instead of the staff he ordered, they delivered him a blank. No, that's not it. Blankety Double blank. Under. Drinkity drink. <laughs> copyright infringement. Copyright infringement. A giant oh, purple I've... builder. Uh, I thought hard about this based Japanese on what's been said today. <laughs> They're nothing but consistent, are the audience? They, yeah, on they this are. One? They There's are a lot consistent. of callbacks in the answers. Yeah, and, uh, dildo. And, uh, I'm thinking about Duncan. They normally get points uh, for for calling back, to be fair. yeah. Uh, get your answers in. Condom machine. They will all be read out uh, unless they are what do you think of him? racist or prejudiced in some way. <laughs> Wow. Keep them coming. I missed the question. Well, Duncan the Singer ordered some new LARP gear from the fantasy shop, James. But instead of the staff he ordered, they delivered him a blank. Get that answer in. Blankety blank. See, I went to watch Blankety Blank be filmed. The yes, other you day. did. I've spoken to Alex about this. Mm. Uh, are, you, are you familiar with, with the rip-off of Drinkity Drink Blankety Blank? Yeah, I know. It's disgusting. When we're taking them to court, it's outrageous. Yeah. It's in the works, actually. Did you know that uh, during the theme song, the audience clap after the... Well, it, uh, goes, of, it goes, Blankety Blank, Blankety Blank, Blankety yes. Blank, Blankety Blank. I didn't know that until I was there and expected to I've, clap. I've seen like some kind of Blankety seal. Blank presented by three different people that are now all dead. Wow. So you should go and see this. So Wogan... O'Grady and Les, Les, Dawson. De- Les Dawson, yeah. Oh. So Les Dawson was the first one and yeah. probably the one that was right. My do me a favor because I really like him. Don't go and see it presented by Bradley Walsh, yeah, because you seem to be a massive fucking curse. Well, yeah, yeah, okay, <laughs> like okay, it's days are numbered, but whatever. I'm gonna fucking see it. So. <laughs> you are gonna he's see he's living on borrowed time, isn't it? <laughs> Okay, chat, here we go. Duncan the Singer ordered some new LARP gear from the fantasy shop. Easy for you to say. But instead of the staff he ordered, they delivered him a... Where's the staff? There. A double ender. Man. Wow. I mean, wow. that's what they think when they hear staff. Mm, it, it certainly is a staff. It's I got, didn't go that route. It's got the length to be a staff. A giant purple dildo, Jeez. says Jaeger. Wow, that's... What? Why uh, purple? That's a mistake, isn't it? Yeah, they you really shouldn't have been specific movie. about the colour. You should have just said giant dildo. Like, what did he write on the order for? <laughs> a giant pink dildo, obviously. So <laughs> Colour blind. <laughs> giant Japanese what's it thing, says Will. Mm. State distributed dildo, says MJ Armstrong. <laughs> Very good. Uh, Fanta staff member with a branded polo shirt and cap. Very specific. Wow. I don't know what's going on there. Condom machine, says Ali. 
Purple dildo, says little cute girl 86. Purple obsession. There's love in the purple. A moral quandary, says son of Rachel. A rod with a knob on the end, <laughs> says Dr. Fruitback. Hey, I would take a that rod, to laugh. That would a be a rod lot of fun. With a knob on the end. Hey, I, I would totally laugh. If I could take that with me and attack people with it, I would totally come to laugh with you. That sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, umbrella, says James31. Uh, now it involves me, I can't think of anything, says Duncan the Singer. Fucking slacker. Pair of wings, voice of an angel. How lovely. Says Welsh, no, okay. Unfortunately, it's not what I've got. Uh, <laughs> a short sword, says Duncan. He worked it out. Crichton's detachable member, says Nova Charter, <laughs> sticking to a theme He's of uh, sci fi based androids. Delicious. And I think that is it. Yes. Fantasy shop. Fantasy, Fantasy shop. shop. I see what you did. <laughs> a bit too clever for us. That is a lot too clever for us. Very yeah. Quick. Yeah. Know your, know your audience. Over to you then, Rear Admiral Brilliant. Duncan the Singer ordered some new LARP gear from the Fantasy Shop, not the Fantasy Shop. But instead of the staff he ordered, they delivered him a... Pork sword. Ha <laughs> That's good. Ooh, another euphemism. So they all... I thought they were going to go for cock, and I thought, yeah. Well, I avoided cock. They, they zigged they, when they should have cocked. And they didn't cock, so mm. no points. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm not even going to give dildo. Because that. it's a pork sword it's, is an it's actual a, penis. It's a fake penis. Mm. You have specified a real penis there. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Duncan the Singer ordered some new LARP gear from the fantasy shop, and instead of the staff he ordered, Alex, they delivered him a... Well, they delivered him some rotten smelly legs. Way mm-hmm. Unbelievable. I thought somebody might have called that back, but they didn't. <laughs> if, if all you remember about Duncan today is that he had some horrifically smelly legs, then uh, that that's what we want, really. I get a point for that. You do get a point. See, for I that. thought that was a reasonable one to give as a as a potential. That is reasonable. Is that a thing that happened to him. <laughs> we were talking about it. I'm earlier, not going to yeah. rule seven you. Yeah, lol. It's because he smells. It is. Look, it's because it he smells. Don't get the pong. Because pong. <laughs> <He's... laughs> he's really good at ping pong. Ah, uh, yes. I love that we give him a hard time when he's not here. <laughs> yeah, well, where he can't just punch in the face. Had it's past tense. Not that they do that. He's not hard enough, obviously. Count up your points. Let me know what you had. I got three. I got three. Oh, what did you guys in, get? In Germany, they do this. They do this. They do that. What did they do? They do this. Did that? I? Because in Inglorious Bastards, he says, uh, yeah, yeah, dry yeah. Uh, schnapps. Yeah. And the guy says, <laughs> you're not German, because in Germany, they do it like this. He does it the wrong way. He was almost perfect. Michael Fassbender does it like that. And then the other guy goes, you do so it So they like do it with a little finger instead. Yeah, they do like this. And he does it like that, and that's how they know. How do you put up a three, naturally, like that? Like that. I, I, I naturally do that. No, I don't. I do that. You do that. I do that. Yeah. That's I think sick. I do this, but I think I do that now because um, I've seen that film. I think I do that. No, I got it's, it's classical. Because if you do that from a distance, sometimes, a sometimes you don't see the, the the middle finger. So I separate them out, and you can very clearly see that's three fingers from a distance. Ah, interesting. Another interesting point here. My brother lost his shit with his boss the other day, and he was shouting at his boss and pointing. And his boss said, don't you point at me? To which he switched to that. <laughs> on shouting. That's a great way to point. And he says, yeah, I like that. that. Like and he went, well, I'll tell you what, fingers. and he did it like that. And in Bullet Train, when Brad Pitt is uh, point, somebody's pointing at Brad Pitt, and he says, don't point. Because when you point, there's three fingers pointing right back at you. So you're three times to the left. Oh, which is another reason to do it like that. So points, Sorry. everyone seems to get lots of points. 17, 11, 9, 18. There's a lot of people getting lots of points. Mm. There's a lot of yeah, lies. Got, got, yeah, a little cute girl got two. Ali got one. Alifa got three. I got three. You got three. Well, there you go. I think uh, I'm, I'm forced to declare you gents on the sofa the, the joint winner. Yes. Aye. Good. There you go. Little cute girl, you're my favourite. There. You're not well, getting it this time. Let's turn this on. The XGN channel just subscribed. Thank you very much for we the subscription. Made a little tune. Much appreciated. Thank the you XGN very much. channel is uh, uh, Grim Skull's stream team, yeah. if you will. Stream lovely, team, I like that. Lovely to see you. Yes, yeah. I'm sure we didn't. <coughs> I'm not sure why we didn't call the primetime streaming network a stream team while we were there, because that that would be very specific and what we were. But is that we're a not. thing? Is that a thing? Stream team, yeah. Yeah. Mm. And it Stream rhymes. Team. So wait, so what did people just go their own ways? Is that what happened? Or the majority of the prime time streamer network stopped streaming, mm-hmm. um, uh, including me in the end. And me. 
and you and various pretty much everyone um and the the discord was basically just a uh like a place for us to gather and chat and do nice things and yeah. so uh, hmm. we we thought we'd maintain that while dropping the the necessity to do all of the prime time we, things that we weren't doing anymore i love it that you got i love it that you're still doing it i think it's really good we gathered everyone together you know people have come over the years uh, and then like now everyone's a bunch of friends um, hanging anyone. out together Woo. so it's really cool you know i love um i love like jumping in on this and i love jumping in with reese and that because i know he sort of does stuff sometimes and that mm. so it's nice but mm. you know everybody got something different out of it i guess it was a difficult time right it's interesting because i really feel like it was special and of a time. It was definitely of its time for sure. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. you know, I've got absolutely no regrets about any of it. No regrets. But, uh, it was also, a... also time. Time passes. Things change. You, you adapt. You time turns evolve and you move on. This yeah, is getting yeah. existential. Um, I yeah, you know, I think about the beginnings of it and you know, jumping in where it happened. All the people that were there at the time, like uh, uh, Captain Soro, you know, and all these yes, various other yeah, people, yeah, yeah. and people who came along, like. Uh, Mama S, Marpesia, and uh, all these, you know, Darren, all these people that came along and joined it. But yeah, people waned and came and stopped. And, and like, in a way, it didn't need to be a network. It's just a group of people. <laughs> that... Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I'll never forget that New Year's Eve. Yeah, that was oh, mental. God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That Christmas. So many good things that, that happened. That Christmas was so weird because certainly for me when I was streaming, it was I go to work, I go home, I'm on my own. That's it. The end. Yeah. Or like playing beer, beer dice in the back garden, sliding down the stairs on the cardboard, all the stupid <laughs> oh, stuff. God. That we did, breathing fire in the back garden and all the firing rest of a, it. I don't know, was it firing arrows? Did you find or was that just a... I think I just set fire to an arrow and shot someone. Um, that was just something I did. But, it, you know, and then the world opened up and it, that was it for me, really. But... Well, that was it. You know, the whole thing really started with, with Don't Get Me Started and with Cocktails and Bullshit. And then, you know, evolved from there. Uh, Reese and Duff joined in with the doing the affirmation show with me and you know it just grew and grew mm. and yeah i think it, there was also a time when i was doing don't get cocktails and bullshit and then the world beer super championship with reese where i was literally drinking myself to death <laughs> there is that yeah oh yeah my yeah god you did choose to do very heavy drinking related streams one after, one the, after other. the other yeah i was yeah. looking on facebook where we were doing some stuff and um we called it like covid cocktails it's like corona cocktails yeah and I saw, obviously, it, the page doesn't exist anymore, so it just comes up with one of those things that says, like, you can't, we can't find this. Yeah. But it like, came up in my memories, like, we were doing, join us for Corona Cocktails. And I remember at one point we were using StreamYard or something like that. Yeah. We are trying to use all these things, and it was very cool. We were doing it on Facebook, just to start with. Just yeah, like, Facebook Live. Facebook mm. Live, and then you were, like, said to me, there's this fucking thing called Twitch, man. <laughs> What, what, reach out find the world what i loved was the world is out there there was i can't put my finger on it i can't articulate how i felt being in lockdown and this sensation i had this it was this special but strange and crazy and dangerous and scary kind of feeling all at once like we all are all trying to have to lock down and isolate and we want to see each other and we want to keep things going it but... was such a different experience to the norm yeah and I remember setting up, buying buying stuff in the post, like buying mics and buying the tripods. Yeah. And I set it up over there and like connecting the thing and putting my headphones into it to be able to talk to you. And is that are you hearing me write and all that sort of stuff and us making the yeah. stuff. And it was just yeah. really for and us. It's really crazy to think, you know, how far we've come now. Now it's just, oh, let's just turn on the wireless mic and head into the kitchen. And it's so yes. fucking easy. Yeah. Like yeah. that, when you think about it, it's why we say like there's lots of stuff we've done, which has really come a long way. But when we had... I was like, I've got, I was doing it off my phone. Like, we're running it off our yeah. phone. Like, we got the, I got my phone and I'm streaming to you. It was really difficult. We Facebook times. live together. Yeah. Oh, mental. And when we were playing beer dice in the back, yeah, back, back garden, and um, you were filming it on my phone, and my phone overheated, it overheated, heated, yeah, and switched off, yeah, and and there was no solutions. And every time we set the thing up, we you'd be like, there's an echo, and we have to check every mic. So there's a there's a speaker somewhere and this and the speaker's picking up on the mic where is it where is it where is it like checking all the mics what a wacky but you know i don't know when you get that shit down and it's you know it is the epitome of bitter of bittersweet fond memories in a horrendous time Mm. yeah it's just like making this shit happen like we refuse to be stopped from doing stuff cow because remember that year was going to be me and tight 10 tim were going to (laughs) glass uh, not going to To edinburgh Edinburgh. yeah yeah and we had a we had a spot and we were going to go and going to do like 25 minutes each and it was going to be us going to edinburgh and we were going to do stand up and we're well up for it and i've never recaptured that feeling of wanting to go up there except for that and as soon as the world broke and we needed to have something to do and we changed to this suddenly this was very special we all were banding together 
It was yeah. amazing. And in a way, I kind of go, was well, this going to last forever? Are we going to like find something, do it, or is it going to work? It comes you know? along and it did its thing, and then it yeah. fucked off, didn't it? I don't like it. So I like that everyone. But it's good that you're still out. doing it, and um, that's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, there you go. Yeah. I mean, Bill we, reflection. We love Don't Get Me Started. We hope you love Don't Get Me Started because mm. uh, it's not fucking going anywhere. No. So. <laughs> don't get me stopped. <laughs> it's not doing that. We, we have started and we're not finished. So, no. mm. so there you go. It's after 10 now. Uh, well. We've been going since 12. Going, I mean, given we start about 7 past 12 with stuff, <laughs> we're now 10 hours in. Hey, they don't remember that far back. It was it was 12 on the dot. I know. It was 12 on the dot. I have no idea. Uh, but yes, we've done ten hours, which we? is kind of crazy. So in a couple of hours, we'll be halfway there. That's goes time goes quick. Yeah. I, I started that sentence with the best of intentions, and then the words just didn't come. Sorry, everybody. that's okay. It is the way. This is the way. Hey, right. so do you want to do a giveaway? Hold oh, your yeah. happy thought. We mm. could do a, yeah, we'll giveaway. Do a giveaway, and then do you want to do some of them, or do you want to do that? Uh maybe some of them because if we've got more to do, oh, we've still got more. Yeah, 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 we'll do some of them, and then maybe I'll want a coffee. Okay, cool. and I can. Right, I'd like to tidy that up. Actually, so, a bit. Uh, have you had any food? Can you order from the full menu of McDonald's? Literally all and see actually, how you, know you can eat. That's a, a lot of a lot of food that I probably I wouldn't won't be against want to eat. a. Um, McDonald's in general, but yes. Um, uh, let's give some shit away! Exclamation twenty four. Tidy up the kitchen a little bit. Sure, way. why not? Exclamation twenty four. Harmstone's already in there. Well done. I'll do it. I can make you an espresso now. We've Sorry, still got I'm a few, uh, a few little bits to to give away. Some DGMS goodie bags from uh, DGMS one hundreds and beans and puppets and face masks and shit. Um, where did the prizes go, Alex? By the way, behind the uh... just so I can try and remember what we've got. Oh, we've got the uh, the Alex Trebek autobiography. Uh, here it comes off to the side. There you go, the Trebek, if you will, uh, and the Transformers prequel comic book. Oh my god! There you go. Well, get your phone out. Get in the chat. <laughs> exclamation twenty four if you want to win it. Of, uh... And uh, yeah, all the uh, the other stuff. Uh, yes, uh, Jaeger's going to bed soon. I think he's going to try and get one more competition in. Who won the last one and cannot enter? Was it Little Cute Girl? No? What was it? Submission Mark 24. I didn't write it down. I'm in the fucking chat. Who was it? Gotten. After Rail? Yeah. The then... It's on the screen. Jaeger. Oh, yeah. He, he, I Jaeger did write it down. Other... He won the other things. Yeah. yeah so, Jaeger, you can't be in this one, I'm afraid. Are you in there? There he is. I'm kicking you out. Pium, off you go. Sorry, can't win two in a row. Dems the rules. Got a nice number of people in. We have got Captain Brilliant. You got in there. Well done. Karis, Dr. Fruitbat, Duff Valley, Duncan the Singer, Your Father, welcome back, Your Father, Aletha, Little Cute Girl, Harmstone, Nova, Son of Rachel, Boss Nana Kay, and Will. Uh, morning, gents. How are we feeling? Uh, I was feeling very fucking warm at one point, but I've cooled down again now. Where's jo- Joy Father from? Uh, your father is uh, Tom, Alex's nephew. Ah, oh, right. He's the other side of the world, isn't he? He's in Japan. Mm. Yeah, so he's just got up. Very, very early, I think. If I win, can I give it to Duncan? No, not with that attitude. Absolutely not. <laughs> Duncan can win on his own merit, or he can't win at all. Last 30 seconds. Get yourself in. <laughs> in the words of someone whom I don't know. You've got to be in it to win it. So if you're not in it, you can't win it. That's how that works. I don't think you could have said it more succinctly than that. That was good. I enjoyed that a great deal. Thanks. Can I give it to anyone not named Duncan? Well, they can do that themselves, mate. (laughs) They can win a prize on their own. They don't need your help. (laughs) You won't win. I expect it. And two. Now he's just saying words. He's He's tired. He's tired. He's very tired. I mean, aren't we all? Right then, folks. Here we go. Good luck to everyone except for Duncan. As is tradition. Oh, wow. Remember, if you do win, you need to fight the monster. So prepare yourselves to do so. How do we do that? You say literally anything in the chat. It would be hilarious if you win. Entering one. Just coming in and smashing it. It's oh, it leaped to the last second. It's Harmstone. Who was it that might have got it? Aletha. 
It was very, very nearly Aletha. And then at the very last moment, it was Harmstone. Well, fight for it, Harmstone. You know what to do. No audio. Oh, yeah, shit. It's too late now. There it is. You can have a little bit of audio at the end. <laughs> Trebek, please. I thought you might say that. I oh, will write that down. Should we do another one? Yeah. Because why the fuck not? I want the Transformers coming. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to leave everyone in. I'm going to kick uh, a little bit of audio as a treat. Yeah, why not? We'll have audio on this one. Turn it back on. Uh, I'm going to kick Harmstone out. And Jaeger, you're now free to uh, to join. Question, does Jez have my new address? Jez does not. Send it to me on Discord. Otherwise, it'll go to your parents. In fact, I don't even know where I put that address. So, yes, yeah, send me your address. No, I don't need to enter again. Now I've got what I want. Fair enough. Any other people hanging around? Ali, it's exclamation 24 to join. Exclamation 24. Get in on the, oh, on the competition. Oh, jumped on that. There you okay. go. <laughs> Just put Harmstone Towers and it'll get there. Yeah, it probably will. The captain is in. Karis is in. Dr. Fruitbat's in. Duff's in. Duncan's in. Jaeger's in. Your father's in. Aletha's in. Ashley's in. Nova's in. Uh, Son of Rachel is in. The XGN channel is in. Watch Nana K is in. And Will is in. Any last takers? Harmstone Heights, the north. That'll get to you. Fair enough. Oh, Alex is uh, very diligently uh, no. cleaning up there. You can see a little bit of uh, of Alex in the corner. Hang on. It's, there he is. There he is. There's, there's his smiling face, giving it a wave. He's loading up the dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Right. Good luck to everyone except for Duncan the Singer. Off we go. You even get sound this time. Nice like that. It's super awesome giveaway. Feeling lucky, I'm feeling lucky. Come on, Daddy needs some new shoes. Come on. The shoes wasn't the prize. Shoes. You'll probably wear beans as shoes, right? Sure, why not? We're reaching the end. It could be Duff. It could be Nova. It's, it's Nova. Nova. He's going to fight the boss. I'm already sending uh, something to Little Cute Girl, so that'll save me on postage. Wonderful. No. Nice. Fight the monster, Nova. Jesus Christ, that was quick. Oh, my. Oh, my. Would you, too, like a DGMS goodie bag, like your good lady wife? Or would you like the Transformers, the Transformers comic. comic? You wouldn't book? enjoy the Transformers comic. You don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know I what you fancy. To win. I just thought I'd tidy things up a little bit. It looks yeah, good, nice. yeah. Like can't, make, can't make more cocktails if we haven't got the shit for it. Well, so I'm thinking in a bit I'll make an espresso martini. That would be great for those who like coffee, but not me. Do you not like coffee? I do not. not I was going to make an actual coffee for me, but I could make, I could demonstrate the making of the coffee with you making an espresso martini? Because I will put I will put fresh coffee in it. Cool. There mm. you go. So you make the coffee. He puts it in a cocktail. Double whammy. Yeah. You've got your microphone on. I'll give him a microphone, mm. and then you can do that at your leisure. Whenever mm. you want. There's no rush. Um, I'm Alex here. is a martini addict. Mm. I'm a gin martini addict. There we go. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't want to interrupt. No, it's fine. You carry on. <clears throat> uh, so when we went to York, I went to the York Gin Effewitch. Company. What do you, what is it? Efferwich. 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 We went to the gin, the the York Gin Company. It's much better name than York. You've got to be honest. F O Witch. Efferwich. F or F or Witch. Efferwich. Like fuck a witch. Efferwich. Efferwich. And yeah. you wouldn't fuck a witch because they smell like fox piss and twiglets. <laughs> twiglets. I like twiglets. Like, like there can be some sexy witches. No, though. they've got ginger hair, curly teeth. They it's smell of fox one. piss and twiglets, and they walk with a limp and a squint. I see. Why would you fuck a witch? Anyway, I went to Efferwitch, and I went to the Efferwitch gin Why company. Why would you fuck a witch? <laughs> Just to say you had. It's like, why do people climb a mountain? Why did you fuck a witch? Because I wanted to climb Everest. Because it was there. Thank you. Efferwitch. Efferwitch. Um, Jesse, went... do you need to DM your addy? Yes, please. I did have it three years ago. What for did the, he... Uh... He went for the DGMS bag -o. Oh, so more DGMS stuff. Can I just send, send double that to them? We will, find, we will send you some things. Um, yes. Went to the Efferwitch gin company. And Are you going to bed, Jaeger? Yeah, did I see that? We're never going to learn about this gin company. Oh, I'm desperate to tell you about it. <laughs> Go on. And uh, so they do all these different gins, and um, you get it in the bottle, and it's uh, the one that they had. So normal 
sort of booze is about what thirty six percent, forty percent that sort of range. Um, export strength gin is forty five percent, but you can only buy it in airports because they don't sell it in England. Yeah, because it's too strong for the English, so they they water it down with spring water to make it about thirty eight to forty percent. Classic England, yeah. Uh, but the gin, the F of which, or the York, if you prefer, the mundane term, gin company produced one of their gins, which is called Outlaw Gin, which is fifty seven percent ABV. A, B, G, fifty seven percent A B G. Always be gaming. 50, what number was that? Fifty seven percent. That's pretty strong. Of A B G is gin. Gin, and uh, so that's one hundred and fourteen proof. Yeah, it, it's ridiculous. And I, so I, she said, "Would you like to try a bit?" And I said, "It'd be answer." And I had some, and she went. Uh, so recently, I've had quite a lot of gins that are quite strong with the old juniper, and obviously, I like juniper in my gin. It's a lovely taste, mm. but some of them are a bit. It's a bit too much. You know, like when we had the, the, the blind gin tasting that time. and Well, the gin that turned us blind. Yes, that yeah. one. Yeah, but we've got glass eyes now, so we it? can see again. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the one that came out near the top was just uh, Gordon's. Good old Gordon's. Yeah. Well, not the best, but it was up there in the top yeah, yeah. three or four for all of us. But a lot of gins now like, have a very strong juniper taste. This had no, very little juniper. It had a peppery taste. It had some other sort of botanicals in there. And it was, oh. So if you buy your gin, it was like, 45 pounds or something like that <clears throat> but if you take the bottle back and they'll fill it up for you it's eight quid less oh. if you take the bottle back and i thought that's just a really cool shop and uh, i didn't bring it with me but another time we'll have some mm. of the gin did you ever did you go to any other the uh effer which is um wonderful we went things? to the abbey oh, okay you, no, didn't the go to, you didn't go to the jorvik viking center no because i think it's rubbish i think it's rubbish as well i've been there a few times as a kid and i think it's rubbish and a rip-off we went to the york minster oh here's a quiz for you so York Minster, the massive cathedral, they said uh, it was eighteen pounds for a ticket. Wow, really? Yeah, that's gone up. That has gone up, but they said once you bought a ticket, you can use it as many times as you like in the next four months. No, you go once. But like, I could give <laughs> it to now. you, <laughs> and I could give it to my dad, and we could give it to whoever, and they can all go. So it's a bit like the Netflix of minsters. Yeah, or like yeah. And yeah. she said, but it Not is expensive, though, right? Guys? <laughs> for twelve months. Um, but she said it costs a lot of money to keep the the minster open, and I said how much. How much a day do you think it costs to keep York Minster open? I don't know, but I'm going to say like £100,000 a day. Is that stupid? Who knows? I don't know how, how big it it's is. It's fucking massive. It's oh. like it's like Canterbury Cathedral. It's I mean, huge. Okay. I think I've gone too high. Yeah, I think you've gone too high. 70 pieces, Harmstone. I think £18,000 a day. You're nearer. It was 33 grand a day. Jesus. Okay, yeah, I knew it was going to be a big grand number. Yeah, let's shut this fucking place down. Let's... But it is beautiful and it's amazing and it's wonderful. And they've got an astronomical clock in there, which is a lot like the price to keep the place open. But, <laughs> but... That's clock, Ali, not cock. They're not the same They're not thing. the same thing. You touch it in the money. So I just, yeah, so I went there and that was good. And we walked around the city walls. But yes, it was a lovely time. Mm. But the gin, we'll try the gin sometime. Do you like gin? Uh, I don't really know if I like gin because I haven't. You've occasionally had. Do you ever have the? Uh, sometimes you get gin in a Long Island iced tea. Do you ever oh have yeah, one of those? yeah, yeah, so yeah. Maybe yeah, a bit yeah. of gin in something else. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What did I get for you? I bought you some. Was it the Welsh spice drum? You bought me the uh, the Welsh spice drum. How yes. was that? It was nice. It was mm-hmm. very. Um, was it seaweed? It was seaweedy. Tasty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was, it was very Tasman. Nice. <laughs> Tasman. Tasman used to work at Jorvik. Yeah, mm. or living. I assume in... uh, Jorvik is the the Viking. It's name the Viking Jorvik. center. There you go. Because the Vikings. It's like a bit like the old Canterbury mm, Tales they, place. They uh, conquered it in the early, I want to say, 11th century. Didn't yes, they, they did. Uh, there was a whole thing about this the other day. Somebody. Uh, no, yeah, 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 yeah. Great see to see you. Thanks, yeah, yeah, thanks for you. joining him. All joking aside, love you, man. Um, they were saying uh, there's a lot of like calls coming out at the moment for like reparations for previous bad things that people have done mm. about slavery and stuff. Like yeah, that. are we going to go all the way back to uh, and, and Viking and Saxon times? So, so here was one of the things. One of the arguments against it was that um, where does it end? Some of the pirates from Africa were kidnapping and enslaving people, like people from Europe, and vice versa. And if you go to Yorkshire, the reason I talk so funny is that the Vikings absolutely pillaged their way across. Absolutely. And historically, everybody's pillaged everyone. So, where it's such a weird topic of paying reparations for how far back? <coughs> yeah. yeah, I mean the 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 answer probably is. The Americans did it for far fucking too long. Is probably the answer compared to the rest of the world. But yeah, ah, oh, Fahim is going to head off to bed. Have a great night. And I'll be back in the morning. We will hopefully be here. Appreciate Unless it. Thank you for joining us thus far. See you in the morning. I mean, we'll be here in the morning. We just oh might, yeah, which might have slept in between. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a little sneaky nap. Yeah, other people did it on bigger scales, but yeah, yeah. it was just yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, just an odd one. It's a weird one. Maybe move forward. I don't know what the answer is. I'm just. 
but yeah. someone's either got to define a, a a time and we move the fuck on or nobody does it i guess i don't I know. know it's, it's a very I don't Very know why I mentioned it. it came to mind. <laughs> yeah, it's not the sort of light-hearted nonsense that you probably want, but just something that... Mm. Yeah. Uh, Alex, while you're over there, could you possibly bring me a steak slice from the fridge? 100%. I would love to stuff my face right now. Is, is uh, there but, a spare? Uh, there, there are two, yeah. Do you yeah. need them both? You're going to be here longer than me. I, um, I mean, I think we're doing all right for food so far, so yeah, by all means, go for it. Enjoy. Um... And then when Alex returns, we're going to uh, move into our next segment. We're doing very well with the content that we have prepared. Uh, Jaeger uh, yeah. needs to talk to me about your IA Jedi. Oh, okay, yeah, I can get those back to you, dude, whenever you want. I haven't really done any painting. Whatever you want them back, just tell me. I'll run them around. Thank you very much, sir. I, I think the good Rear Admiral is going to take the second one. Yep. And I'm going to eat this one. Mm. Mm. Be good. Well, Getting one in a moment. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna make myself a coffee. Okay, right. So you need a you got a mic? Turn it on. Yeah, you need to hold down. Hold it down. Mm. Okay. Talk. I'm talking now. Okay, you're in. There we go. Yeah. The cocktail cam is on. Take that wherever you like. So Alex is going to make a coffee with his stupidly expensive Sage Bambino. Yeah. And we're going to eat. Sounds good to me. Letha, steak slices are great. Warm or cold, that's the beauty of a steak slice. Cold or better. Mm. Just, uh, just purging the machine a little bit. The purge. Is that a euphemism? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let us know if you can hear Alex all right. We can always tweak it if not. No, it's better cold. No, this isn't bad. If it's been cooked, yes, eat it warm. But if it's been left to cool, eat it cold. Sage Bambino, I forget about it. Hey, Sage Bambino. Yes. Sage Bambino. Let's have a look at the Sage Bambino. Bloop. 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 <laughs> yeah, look at that bad boy. Yeah. Steak slice, Ali. Morrison's finest. Well, not finest. Morrison's generic. Ali, la la la. Where are you from? Up north. Manchester? Mm. Not, not Newcastle. From... I want to say Manchester. Hmm. Duff's one of your kind. Loves the Sage coffee machine. He's got the Express, he says. The Express, yeah, yeah, yeah. A bit more expensive than the one I've got. A bit bigger. Like a Greg's one, yeah, basically. Same kind of deal. Not as nice as like a Greg's. No. Cheese, bean and sausage mm. pasty. Oh my goodness. Can you? I can use my tamper that I still don't know who sent it to me. Tamper? Bay! Bay! How do you know where I'm from? Because you say many things. It's just the way that you said lad. It's a very northern thing. As Data famously said, like, Brogan's really into the, the Star Trek now. Load of shite. <laughs> Coffee. Coffee into the porta filter. Are we still talking about Star Trek? I love mm -hmm. it. My, um, my father came home one day in a hurry, and the phone rang as he entered the house. He answered the phone and it was my uncle and he said, David, I can't talk right now. I'm busting for a shite. And <laughs> why use ten words when a few will suffice? Or just don't answer the phone. He'd never not do that. This was back in the day where there was no call waiting or any of that nonsense. It's probably a rotary phone. Pick it up and put it back down again. Go for your shit. Well, it was his, to do with his business. It might have been work. It might have been money. When, when the day that my dad had his stroke and he was in the hospital, the most upsetting thing for him was that he had to take half a day off work. <laughs> what are you doing there, Alex? Talk us through it. Yeah, yeah. I'm just uh, just going to make the coffee do its thing. It's going to come out. Where is it? Can I make the coffee come out? Do, do, do. 
Nice noise. Mm. Yeah, just put the coffee in the porter filter and just pressing the button. The magic of things. Pretty all you're hearing is this coming through. It's whisper quiet. It's whisper quiet. Could you have made an instant cut by now, asked Dr. Fruit Bat? It wouldn't taste nearly yeah, as good. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you could make an instant cut by uh, enable him. by just boiling the kettle, couldn't you? Dual stream. One. <laughs> it did sound like a one. One. <laughs> like a camel. <laughs> just purge the uh, purge the steamer. It's not purge day though. Instant coffee. Oh no. I have to drink instant coffee at work, so none of that shit. One of the weird things since I've been dieting and I've stopped completely eating dairy, most days, you don't get any milk. When you drink your coffee black and you drink instant coffee versus ground coffee or coffee, fresh coffee from a decent coffee shop, you really notice the difference. It's just instant coffee's bobbins. I don't drink coffee, but um, Paris drinks black coffee. Oh. Has done for, for ages. Um, goes for a a more like quality instant brand for her daily. But, yeah. Discos, knickknacks, or squares, Jeremy. I'm gonna go with knickknacks, Ali. Especially if they're the nice and spicy ones. That's the shit. Ribbon sauce is good though, but knickknacks is the correct answer. Oh good, it sounds exactly the same on stream as in real life. Well, you would know. Hear this relentless noise every day, I'm sure. <laughs> is that are a you, It is indeed, yeah. Yeah. Are you are you fingering it there, Alex? What's going on? I'm fingering it with the with the steamer. Is that the noise it makes when it enjoys the fingering? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it that, loves it, it's really going for oh it. Oh my god, it's thrumming. It's quite difficult to, to steam milk effectively for latte kind of stuff. Oh, so don't uh... you enable them as well, for fuck's sake. What's he saying? Nice to see Alex as the Barossa on display too. <laughs> don't know what that is. Is that the wine? This the same is words. The... He means this oh, the is wine. The, the nice wine that I like. <laughs> He's going to put that in his coffee. I think he might have a drink of the wrong coffee. Using the sage. Hey, a sage bambino! It's a me. I, I, I paid your gold. I bought him that wine when I came down last time. Oh yes, I remember. Apple Watch in shot too. Yes, he's a he's a he's, he's a such... shell for everything. That Alex. A fucking advertisement slag, mm. isn't he? It inadvertently spurted a bit of milk out. Yeah, well, it happens That's to what the she best said. of us. Yeah. A little dribble at the end. You know what I mean? Yep, yep, yep. It's when the main the main sort of spurt of it has gone out. Just a little after dribble. Yeah. The steam looks good on camera, I've got to say. Yeah. What's Hannah milk? Uh, uh, there's supposed to be a comma there. Since having Hannah, milk and coffee taste wrong. Oh, really? Like, you noticed? It's ah. a change in her, her palate, yeah. That's bizarre. Mm. Is that a common thing? Common thing for some some taste change after pregnancy, yeah. Yeah, it's very common. Make oh, a little here's a, here's smiley a, a, face. Wacky, wacky. Uh... Oh, there it is. <laughs> Yeah. Have you uh, made the captain an espresso shot for his? Uh... No, but I can do that. Yeah, I'm go gonna for it. need. I'm gonna need 25 mils of. I can't be bothered to change the thing. Can you have 50? Yeah, that's Just fine. Use less of it. <laughs> to... Yeah, I'll have two. Double strength. Well, there we go. Why not? Uh, yeah. I'll do that in just a moment. It's just gonna bring my coffee across and leave it in front of me. Mmm, wonderful coffee in a lovely steep street mug. Mm, 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 mm. I'm gonna put that there. I went there today to make my cake. It was lovely. Their cake is so good. I might have said this already. You can say it again. I love their cake. I'll just make you some. <coughs> we have a nice coffee machine in works, says Karis, that I inherited from a person I worked with. Makes a great espresso. Oh. Because the, there's one thing that a teacher needs in the morning it's an espresso. Mm -hmm. So they're wired for the entire day. I might steal some of your maple syrup and make a maple syrup espresso. Go for it. Mm. Got plenty of it. I only need a tablespoonful. Coffee helps you stay awake, says Ali. Is that why you're having it, Alex? What's that to keep me awake? Yeah. Oh, 100%. That's, this is to keep me awake. I don't feel like coffee really has that effect, but I'll do it anyway. Yeah, I mean, 
Can't the hurt. amount of Pepsi Max I drink, I should stay awake on the caffeine on it, but I really don't feel like it touches me ever. Can I tell you something? The what? more so when you drink caffeine, it stimulates your brain to give out um, adrenaline to keep you awake. If you're constantly pounding caffeine, the gland will be dry, as cool. it were. That's why then. So and then you you end up getting like fatigue because you've got none. Yeah, I mean, I don't feel like it makes a difference really whether I drink I drink Pepsi don't throughout think the night I'm or be staying any... all night. I think I'll be staying for a bit longer. I don't know how long. <laughs> We've often said Jez's gland is dry. <laughs> I mean, you've got a child. You've achieved your objective. Exactly. Right? I don't want any more. So it can, they can dry well, out as much as noise. they like. Fuck that noise, mate. Yeah. This is why I don't tell my children where I live. You know. <laughs> yeah. I'd have a vasectomy if it wasn't so much fucking effort. I really don't like sharp pieces of steel near my gonads. Not a fan of that. Mm. It'd be better if they knocked you out, but they won't do that anymore. No, it's local anaesthetic. Yeah, fuck mm. that. Yeah, and then we're going to cut up your bollocks. Fuck off. I'd rather go. I'd rather go to sleep. I'd rather my wife had the thing in her arm that stops her getting pregnant. Yeah. Because when you take the poison out of a snake, you know what you've got? A belt. <laughs> yeah. Nobody wants that. Happy I got the chance to see the rear admiral again, says Nova. Oh, Nova. You. Yeah, when was the last time you were on a, a stream of any kind? It's been a while, hasn't it? So Reese does, does doesn't stream anymore. Not really, no. A lot of times when I jumped in with him, I'd just do it on the audio. Um, yeah. Because... Setting up a studio like this is effort, and uh, I just didn't have the time and effort for it. And does Nova know what we're doing? We're doing the old uh, Star Trek role-playing game. Uh, I don't think he does know, no. No, I don't think we've told him. Well, just so you know, Nova, in it, uh, not next month, is it July? July, yes. In July, we're going to play the Star Trek Star Trek Adventures role-playing game. We did mention it earlier, but I think it might We should talk about it joined. again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't wait. I tried great. to get you, you, you got a copy of the dice. I haven't got the dice yet, no, no, no. So you like this, Nova. So when you, so I'm playing as Chief of Security, which, which I fucking love, and it's the, it's the next generation era. Mm. So obviously my uniform would be gold. Gold? And uh, I purchased a, a set of the dice that are gold in colour. And uh, I'm encouraging everyone else to also buy the dice that relate to the colour of their uniforms. In fact, I was looking at getting a uniform top. Are you going to go over and do that now? I am. I was looking at getting a t-shirt or a top. Oh, is this magnetised? Oh, sorry. Yeah, it is. Sorry, that was me. So that magnet's on there, and then that attaches to there, and then that goes in my hand. I'm just going to push that towards yeah. you so I can come back. Yes, on. and then I'll push it this yeah, way. So there's just a little kind of mug, uh, kind of random mug with some coffee in it. Brofoss is the funny. Uh, on your way past, Captain. Oh, there you go. Just turn this off. Yes. Here. Am I on? You are on indeed. Oh, goodness what goodness. are the portable mics? They are DJI uh, wireless microphone system. They're very good. I'm very impressed. I liked what you did, Alex. I'm going to copy you. Okay, cool. The money shot. Let's focus on the drink instead of the, the hit of the whole fruit. Beautiful face. That's the hit of the whole fruit. So I'm going to make me an um, espresso martini. DJI. DJI, Which yes. um, I'm going to put... Happy to talk about them at length at another time, if you like, Harmstone. <coughs> They're well worth there. it if you're going to do stuff on the move. Are you staying on for the Monaco GP? Where's that one? Uh, that is on at 1.30 tomorrow, and I am absolutely not. I'm go I'll be asleep then. Oh, no, no, no. Not, not tomorrow. I will definitely be asleep tomorrow afternoon. Yeah. Well, it's 20 to 11 here. But um, Ali, qualifying's obviously happened. Who won? Who won quali? Who is on pole? That's the question. Quali, quali, quali. Do people say quali? They do and you just quali. said it, so yeah. I didn't know it's only you say or. Yeah. What is the mic arm attached to behind the couch? Um, this. A, so a piece of wood. It's a really good question. So what it is? Uh, hold on. Well, why don't you wait for the captain to finish, and you can show them on, on. on the uh, portable camera. Yeah. Oh, so I'm going to go with oh. 25 mils of oh, yeah, uh, freshly that. brewed coffee. Yeah. Uh, you had some Kahlua here, and you picked it up, and you put it... Uh, is it over there by the microwave? Yes. Microwave. Uh, I'm going to go 25 mils of that. I'm going to go 25 mils of 
coffee liqueur. Sometimes I use Mr. Black's. That's my favorite one, but I'm going to go Mr. with Kahlua. Black. I'm also going to go... I saw a bottle of vodka down here, I think. Is I it think just I put it on the floor. It's down. Yeah. There we go. So we I went moved it out of the way so that... 25 mils are an ounce of coffee. 25 mils are an ounce of coffee liqueur. I'm going to go with 50 mils, or if you prefer, two ounces of vodka. Uh, so that's all quite bitter. It's like the Murphys. So I'm going to stick a table. It's an old advert. <laughs> I know. I can't help. I they still sell Murphys. I, yeah, I, I love the advert. I loved it when they said it. I'm going to get myself uh, together. Um, writings on the wall. Oh, here it is. Stereo MCs. Yeah, and I'm going to uh, going to put a tablespoon of sugar syrup in here. You can't hear our ad libbing. No. You could make your own sugar syrup, of course, which is equal parts. Sugar and water, water by weight or volume you choose. I couldn't make But I've got so some can of do. <laughs> Listen, sugar oh, syrup's so no. cheap, you should just buy it. I would just, I would have that. But if you don't have sugar syrup, I make didn't even pay for that bottle of sugar syrup. You bought it for me, so. <laughs> I, we never wanna have I ever paid for sugar syrup. Never have I ever. <laughs> want to chuck some ice in there. Oh man, it's so cold, it's. You can hear it cracking as it goes in there. That's awesome. Yeah, no, but I had this idea, basically. We were like, how can we attach this and i'll show you in a bit but it's basically uh a clamp attached to a bit of wood because the thing needs to be attached to a bit of wood oh yeah of course it can't sorry no you're fine you're fine oh, oh. we'll show you we'll show you 30 seconds and then we're going to double strain this oh into smile, actually i'm not going to double strain it i'm going to single smile. strain it yeah better fucking smile the amount you paid for it oh, yeah. but that would be the least i expect is a fucking smile from it <laughs> and this has worked out nicely because i shook it so vigorously you get like a little can you see that i can see a little bit there's of a of little bit of a, a layering that we can see yeah an espresso martini i mean normally i'd say yes i would like one but i know i'm going to drink some wine Yes. I don't want to go too That's crazy. It. And if you... What games you got planned for midnight? Well, we're, we're probably going to start with some Jackbox. Yeah, play some Jackbox. Yeah, so anybody that's, that goes. that's still struggling about late can join in with us. <clears throat> uh, oh, here we yeah. go. So if I bring that up to the thing, mm -hmm. the main thing, oh, you can mate. see that that's got like a nice... That's a great place, man. I like that. head. <laughs> yeah, just, 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 just there, Luke, speaking of frothy head. So that's an espresso <laughs> martini. It's... Huge, yes. <laughs> you can't reach that far. So that's that. No worries, Duff. No worries, Duff, man. Good, Good to see you. See you in the morning, then. If you're up, you're going to be up at five again. Yeah, you can you join us at five o'clock. Uh, no, no, no. I've still got. I'm double fisting. So, as is the way. Right, are you going to turn? Are you going to turn yours on and show Nova the mic? Oh yeah, uh, yeah. The, yeah, the mic arm. Come around the back of that. There you go. He's on. He's on. Okay. Yeah. So let me take that. Uh, that is... Thank you. I just feel see. So yeah, this is um. Behind the curtain. See behind the curtain. This is just a bit of wood, like because this thing, the road arm, needs to come into this thing. So we needed a bit of wood, and there isn't one because it's just the back of a sofa. So we just used. One of the, we just used a, a, a clamp is here to clamp between can you see that yeah, yeah clamp yeah. between the sofa and a bit of wood and then the bit of wood is there and then we put that in there so this is the entire operation that makes my mic work this is the ingenuity that we finessed over time it's actually clamped to the sofa yeah yes yeah no yeah. one wants to see how the sausage is made mm. you know uh, this one is is on a table and it just reaches that far, but yeah. Like, yeah. You want to try a bit of this? We've worked on will, yeah. these things. I'll try that. So you're offering me or offering? Well, Jez, anyone who wants to try There you go. Do you want to try some? You don't like coffee, though. Turn your receiver off. I think I have not. Have not. <laughs> I was going to say I did, but that was earlier. Mm. I mean, I'll try it, but I definitely won't like it. I don't think you will, but... Can we tour of your house, Alex? I don't think so, no. It's a bit... It's a bit messy at the moment. Though. No, that's not for me. 
Hard to tell whether he likes it or not from his <laughs> a lot facial of, expressions. Um, a, if it was a bit tidier, maybe, because a lot of the stuff that was in our way here has gone into the hallway, but then it goes straight into the other studio, like the Thursday night studio. So. Man, that's good. That turned out well, didn't it? It looks good. Tastes good. Well, it's Go quarter to 11. WWE Thursday night studio. Yes. Uh, but yes, we're also going to play some WWE 2K23 for the first time. Aletha's in the bedroom, watching on the TV. Uh, let me just oh. have a look at this qualifying thing. Okay, cool. That's about as expected. Right, are we ready to move on to another segment? Yes! Uh, we we let Duncan join in earlier, and it would only be fair to let, uh, to let the captain join in, so I'm going to turn that off so that we're ready for it. It's the segment that we are <laughs> going to do the most today, it seems. Yes. Uh, for the third time, it's Am I the Asshole? Am I the asshole? No, it's the children who are wrong. We're still on the classic, am I the assholes? Yeah. Because we have a lot of them. Uh, we'll probably do new ones in the morning, I guess. I don't know. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Whatever. <coughs> the captain's enjoying his espresso martini, so we won't trouble him with going first. No. Shall I go first? Yeah, you go for it. I'm okay. going to drink my coffee. Mm. Right, prepare your best judgments. Classic assholes. Here we go. <laughs> you met us before. But for those that are, that are just joining, by the way, these are Am I the Assholes from the early days of Don't Get Me Started when we filmed it on a shit camera. So yeah. <laughs> I can only think of Alex pressing the wrong button and stamping asshole. Well, mate, it the... was such a fucking it, classic It moment. was beautiful, wasn't it? It was I incredible. Like... Yeah. By the way, if you want to fuck something up again, do remember we do have an Anator at your disposal whenever oh, you like yes. to do yeah, it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Am I the asshole? You are. <laughs> <laughs> it never gets old. <laughs> Am I the asshole? I need a drink. Sorry. <clears throat> Try this again. Shit Am I the asshole mm. for giving away my dog? Oh, no. <laughs> oh that got a response. It did you think about the people at home? The people at. Alif is much the same. She loves dogs. <laughs> you're get, but you're not going to enjoy the... Yes, no debate, says Rail. <laughs> dogs is what awakened Rail. Fucking hell, yeah. She was launched from silence. <laughs> Let's get some context, shall yes. we? I, 17F, have always wanted a cat. I asked my parents for one since I was a kid. I'm in the minority in the family, though. Everyone else is more of a dog person. Mm. I'm so, so fucking sorry. Must be fucking awful. Jeremy doesn't like dogs. Oh, no. <laughs> you seem visibly distressed. So nice. <laughs> <laughs> My birthday landed just as COVID hit. Shows you how old this is. This is My parents finally agreed to get me a cat since we all realised how lonely and shitty things were being isolated. Mm -hmm. we, we did streaming instead. That yeah. too. I got really excited. So imagine my surprise when they ended up bringing home a dog. That must have been magical. <laughs> I never wanted a dog. I always made this clear. Not only do I not like dogs, I <laughs> actively dislike them. <laughs> It's not Armstead. This one is loud, messy, and needy. Much like Rear Admiral Brilliant. <laughs> not needy. <laughs> I could hardly wait. I could not say it. I told them I didn't want him, but my parents insisted it would be better for the family since everyone else likes dogs. <laughs> everyone Here's else. A present we're all going to enjoy, but you. <laughs> Except for you. Your present. We'll enjoy it. Go fuck yourself. Since everyone else likes dogs, more than cats, and I'd be going off to college next year anyways. When I pointed out it was supposed to be a birthday present, they said that, and they said that they would get a cat, they made the excuse that the Rona could be spread by cats. <laughs> That's such bullshit. Parentheses, this was before they discovered it could also be spread by dogs. Listen, I love it. It's like, we're going to get you a present, but it's going to be not a present you like, and it's not for you. So it's a present... The present for you it's is for not us. a present you like, you and it's not nothing. for you. <laughs> Can yeah. you imagine? And also, we'll feed you some bullshit about COVID to try and shut you the imagine fuck up. Imagine if it's just like something that the whole family will need. So it's like, instead of a PlayStation, you get solar panels. 
get a new get a new uh, boiler. Yeah, yeah. We really needed a new I want boiler. I want a PS5. Ah, yeah. uh, but yeah, we all needed a new boiler. So for your birthday, we've got you a new boiler. Yeah, we but we injected uh, you with AIDS instead. Uh, I'm feeling but, less hardline uh, but, about this one now. But we also you know cut off the radiator in your room so you don't get to benefit from any of the heat. We'll enjoy it. You get nothing. Ever since I made my dislike of the dog clear, my parents insist that I'm the one that feeds him, walks him, and takes care of him. Yeah, that'll fix it. I'll be going to college. Do the job. Doesn't start for another two years. Door slams. <laughs> I'm not okay with this. A few weeks ago, some of my college applications were due, and I shut myself in my room to finish them and ignored the dog for a few days. In that time, the dog died. <laughs> <laughs> my mom yelled at me for neglecting him. And my dad said I was too irresponsible and ungrateful to have a pet. I asked them to watch after him because, honestly, I hated him. I never asked for him, but they refused to. I got so pissed with my parents and this dumb dog, I started looking into other options. A friend mentioned that her family wanted a dog, that it was a difficult time to find one because of the surge in animal ado adoptions during quarantine. I let her come on a walk with me and the dog, and she fell in love with him. She talked to her parents and said that they would love to take him. So while my parents were out at work, I gave him away, along with most of the I dog supplies and food. Gave him away. Win-win. Absolute win-win. Mm. Gave the dog away. Now, they are pissed. They yelled at me for giving away the family pet, even though they had, continu had continuously told me he was my responsibility and didn't do much for him. <laughs> My little brother had bonded with the dog too, and he won't stop crying. I just reminded them that they kept calling it my dog, and that they'd never done anything with him. I imagine he'll be happier with the friend's family. No shit. Yeah. And they seem like they actually wanted him, will give him attention that I never wanted to give him. But I guess part of me feels a little guilty, because I might have done this out of spite. Am I the asshole for giving away my dog? So, do we take it in turns to do this? You just blurt it out. You, we just get. You're not the asshole. We just get chatting. Why? So, Answer anyone that. anyone that would buy someone a pet, a living creature, as a gift, is an asshole for doing that. It's such a shit gift. It's like you know, you wanted a cat, well, we got you a baleen whale instead. <laughs> <laughs> like it is such a shit thing to do. Happy Christmas. Here's a dog. And you don't buy living creatures. Enjoy as a fifteen kid. years of responsibility. And the last two of them are crippling debt and left you with an emotional trauma that is never going to leave you. When when a, a dog's like a member of your family, you don't just give somebody it and go, "You wanted the dog? No. Well, it's yours now. And ultimately, if it's your gift and it is your dog and it's your responsibility, it's yours to do with as you see fit. And I love dogs, but dogs are not people. Dogs are property. And if you choose to give it away and you've got a home where it'll be looked after, then it's yours to do with. The The parents were dicks for buying her the dog. She hasn't done anything wrong. She's not the arsehole. No. The parents, like, obviously are massive arseholes. Oh, big time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not only for liking dogs, but for them buying someone who doesn't like a dog a fucking dog. What the fuck is wrong with you? I, I love dogs, but if you bought me a dog, I'd be displeased because I don't want a dog in my life. Yeah, no. I couldn't look after a dog. Imagine. It's just outrageous. It's like, I would really like this thing. How about we get you something you don't want? It's like, also, you've bought it for me. It's mine to deal with. If I want to give it away, I will. So it's it's mine when it needs walking, but it's the family dog when you gave it away. When you want to give it love. So which which would you like? Because you have to be consistent. But that's the problem with these people is they're terrible wankers and they're inconsistent. Inconsistent, one might say. The dog feels like a punishment. Yeah. It really does feel like a punishment. A controlling family that wants to keep you controlled. You can't go to college. Who's going to look after your dog? Yeah. Absolutely. So, no, they are not the arsehole. Yeah, I think we got to the bottom of that. And uh, I will hit the stamp that signifies such. There you go. I'm exactly the same, lad. Like dogs, but I don't have the time to properly look after one. If someone bought me a dog, I'd be fuming. Give you a dog. As Here's this massive, massive... Responsibility. I can barely look after myself, let alone another creature. <laughs> like I said, it's why I don't tell my children where I live. <laughs> Fuck them. Um, I really, really want to whip it, but if someone gave me a whip it, I'd be furious. Whip it good. If you <laughs> want <laughs> a dog, get a whip it. <laughs> you must whip it good. Grab that whip. 
Whip that dog. Oh, fuck. <laughs> the RSPCA come calling. <laughs> They're powerless, so fuck them. <laughs> the RSPCA can't. You heard it here first. All. RSPCA, castrated. When the doggies come along, you must, must whip, whip it. it. Whip it good! <laughs> um, do you want to go next or shall I go? Oh, sure. I don't mind going. Go for it. So, hmm. Am I the arsehole for thinking that my nephew should share his lottery winnings with me? I bought the ticket. Oh, God. I have had a, <laughs> <sighs> I have had a really rough logo. year. Hang on. Can you start again? For some reason, the logo reappeared. Am I the arsehole for thinking that my nephew should share his lottery winnings with me? I bought the ticket. I have had a really rough year. Laid off from my job and I'm out of unemployment options. I do own my house and managed to scrape by to pay my property taxes and insurance with odd jobs, but I am eating ramen just about every meal. I love my nephew and can't get by on the thought that I wouldn't be able to get him a birthday present on November the 3rd. In case you wondered when his birthday was. (laughs) Does it say November the 3rd? Yeah, it says November November the 3rd. 3rd. Just dox your nephew on on the internet. I scraped together whatever change I could and bought him some lottery scratchers. And holy shit, he actually won. On two of them, no less. One was for about $50, which was cool enough. But the second one was actually into the middle five figures. So we're talking like 50 grand plus, yes. right? Uh, so $50,050. <laughs> I mean, life-changing money. I can't say exactly how much because uh, in our state, lottery winners are, are all public record. That makes no so sense. specific. I can't say exactly how much because in our state, lottery winners are all public record. Well, so I you... guess you can find out who they are based on the amount that they won. Ah, uh, right, right, right. Well, she's already doxxed her fucking nephew. What difference does it make? And his Can't birthday me. is November the 3rd. <laughs> his parents, uh, my sister and her husband, Thanks for that. are very well off. Okay, so they're setting her up to look like an arsehole already. My nephew has a fully funded college fund and every material thing he could ever want and when I found out, I told my sister that it would be really cool if my nephew gave me at least three quarters of the winnings. Oh, God. She asked if I was serious, and I said I felt I was being very generous because I really need all of it. <laughs> <laughs> she actually hung up on me. I'm not fucking surprised. <laughs> three quarters. I then texted my nephew, and I think he actually blocked me. Um, here's the thing. I need this money. It's a matter of me eating or not eating. Should have bought a ticket then, cunt. He doesn't. Am I uh, the arsehole for thinking he should share the winnings of the gift I gave to him? Yes! Yes! Yes, you are! Jesus, fuck. You gave a gift. Listen, this is always the danger about giving something like that. Here's the weird thing. She taped it to the back of a dog and and (laughs) sent it to him. Oh, my God. But when you buy a gift, like the dog, and you give it to someone, it's theirs. Yeah, right? you could always ask for three quarters of the dog. If he like burns that money, <laughs> if he burns that money, or, or or whatever, or buys a dog with it, or does whatever. It's a actually, fucking expensive dog, mate. It says here actually he wanted a dog and he's going to buy it uh, from a house two houses over where the girl's <laughs> unhappy. Nice. Uh, that's how they link together. Yeah. So, but like, it's outrageous to go like, okay, well I don't know what to get, <laughs> but he scraped together enough money just to get a scratcher. Uh, two of them once, and so maybe you got like three or four. I don't know if it says. I don't know if that's like a quid or something like that. So like it's like dollar. five bucks versus. So it's just like I scratched together everything I've got to afford five bucks. What's the point of giving anything? Just say, listen, I'm hard up. I'm not going to give anything, and no one's going to care. But instead, they put together the stuff. Always the chance that the person might win. They won. And I mean, like, what did what did you expect? Did you buy them a scratch card? Going ah, oh, that you know. If they lost, did you expect him to reimburse some of yeah, it? Yeah, the fuck. Um, often like. You know, when people do shit and they know they're in the wrong, they'll do, um, it's called a, it's called a narrative distortion. Okay. Where they tell their story where I'm not the villain because I'm not the thief because of this. Yeah. I didn't do this wrong. So she's yes. saying, I bought lot. the present. The yeah. I bought the present. And so, you know, he's got a fully funded uh, yeah. college course and he's got this. So I have a distorted version of what the truth looks like to me. Yes. And it's like, it's like, especially coming in with three quarters. It's like, three I've given fucking you. Three quarters? I've given you a ticket. That's a present. It's from me to you. It's yours to do with. If you rip it up now, shred it, eat it, it's yours to do. If you let it fulfill its path and it gives you $150,000, then none of that's mine. All of that is yours. And if I feel, 
as the recipient, I think, you know what, that was a very kind gift, and I actually made some money, here's her 50 grand, then fair enough. You can't turn round right. and say, like, I want 75% of this. Listen, what I know... What planet that... are you living on? <laughs> I know you're my aunt, but I guess the fact that you bought me $4 worth of scratch cards for my birthday means that things are tight in the household. Yeah. Here's 10 grand. Do you want 10 grand? Actually, I prefer two, three quarters of what you are got there. Probably they thought to themselves, if I come in at 75%, they'll say 25% and we'll settle at 50%. <laughs> I would like you to give me three quarters of your winnings. So... You bought me this on the off chance that I probably wouldn't win, but now I have one, you want it? Yeah, you bought me these fully expecting me not to win because people never win. And now that I've won, you want me to give you three quarters? I think... Get the fuck out of yes. here. Yes. I can't remember who was saying this. It might have been Aletha was saying that someone she knew kind of would buy... When it got to Secret Santa, they would buy Secret Santa things as scratch cards. But that's a crap gift because like, the likelihood is it's going to be nothing or one yeah, pound. Yeah, yeah. So ultimately, it's a really crap... You, if, you, if it's £10 limit... You go, oh, I'll give you that because think about that, it's the potential to win loads. But we all know the likelihood is it isn't yes. that. I never won more than one or two pounds or something like that. So you're effectively giving nothing. Mm -hmm. So you could have just spent that ten pounds on a gift from, you know, one of those gift things from Sainsbury's or like yeah, some of, chocolate or literally anything. Yeah, literally yeah, anything. Yeah. Some kind of tangible thing you can hold in your hands and put in your face. Yeah. But for some reason they think that the opportunity that might come out of it is so great that I'm actually giving you an amazing gift and yes. it's actually quite a wanky gift or like if i give you a pound and said put it in the fruit machine yeah and you drop the just, yeah, just, pound just, deposit just give me a fucking tenner and a card that's much better <laughs> i can spend that on what i want you... oh, uh, yeah there's five dollars go get yourself a beer for yeah. your birthday happy yeah. birthday yeah yeah, yeah yeah do you know um matt mo once got a copy of inception after inception just come out and inception is really big <laughs> and bloody loves inception. It's great mm. and um he got inception for someone else because it's a secret santa and the guy got inception that he got it for, and he's looking across at him, obviously, and the guy's like, what's this? Oh, I don't know about this. Does anybody, does anybody want this? And Matt Moat was like, yeah, I'll take it. And he went, <laughs> okay, there you go, and gave Matt Moat back his own copy of Inception. He's like, brilliant. So I got something totally shit. I swapped him the Guinness that I'd been given, which is, do you want, I've got Guinness. Do you want my Guinness? Yeah, I'll have Guinness. Yeah, you can have this film, whatever it is. And he's like, brilliant. So he just got his own present. <laughs> Fucking hell. Have you ever seen the fake thing. scratch cards? Only me. I have not. You guys don't get to answer. Because it was directed at me. Just so impersonal. <laughs> yeah. Princess Rail's not wrong. They are impersonal. You know Rail. Mm -hmm. Rail's in Teutonia. Oh, really? Who is it? Yeah. You know Rail. Got big, big beard. Plays Ulrich. Do you know it's like... Yes. I'll have to... Yes, yes, yes. Always makes the massive amounts of curry that we eat. Fucking love you, Princess Rao. I think you're amazing. That curry that you made is great. And the fact that you do it and the fact that you make it so that it hits every base so vegans can have it, veggies can have it, yeah. I can have it, everyone can have it. It's flipping awesome. Love it, man. Love it. I'm looking forward to seeing you at Renewal as well. That's it. Should be there at Renewal. I'll be there at for Renewal. renewal. Well, I fucking love this. Curry. Yeah. Some guy at work got another guy a fake scratch card as a sink, <laughs> as a Santa <laughs> Christmas gift. He won $10,000 and started celebrating <laughs> in the office. <laughs> then read the back of it. And says you've won nothing. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That's got to be dangerous. Yeah, you've got to hide. When we, when Who we... fucking gave this to me? Who fucking gave it to me? It's like, shit me. This guy's not going to arrest. Yeah. Imagine that disappointment. The high of I have 10 grand to no, I've actually got nothing. And I haven't even got a fucking secret Santa gift. This is oh. bullshit, man. When we were at, when we were in Howarth for the 1940s weekend with my dad, there was a group of people there that obviously part of the church, and they were handing out these notes that said a million pounds. They had Prince Charles on the front of them. They said a million pounds, and on the back it was like, and they gave one to my dad and said, "Oh, would you would you like a million pounds?" And my dad said yes, and he gave him the million pounds. He went, "What are your spiritual beliefs, uh, Mister?" <laughs> and he says his name, and he goes, "Oh, Keith. What do you what are your spiritual beliefs, Keith?" And my dad spent the longest time he's talking to him, and he said. I just wanted the million pound note, so I'm, I'm going to tip the wager at the restaurant later on with the million pound note. <laughs> <laughs> so, like the fake scratch cards, you know, it just, there's a million pounds. And he goes, that's all I wanted was the million pound note, because if you listen to them, they'll give you one. So, uh, Right, what was the question, Captain? Let's wrap this up and, uh, Sorry. and give us a stamp. It, am I the arsehole for asking for the money? And... Oh, it's, it, the the guy has given, or the girl has given the, yeah, the scratch so this cards. Is the aunt. Am I the uh, am the... I the arsehole? She bought him a scratch card uh, for his birthday present because she's poor. He won upwards of fifty thousand dollars on this and has everything. 
has a college course, has everything you could ever need, and she wanted three quarters of it. Okay. And they basically, when she told his mother, she hung up at him, and when she texted him, he blocked her. Am I the arsehole for thinking he should share the winnings of the gift I gave him? Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's pretty fucking yes. clear, actually. Yes. Yes. Unambiguous. Yes. Welcome in Tamsin Aki. Oh, Tamsin. Still awake. Yes, we unbelievably are still up. Thank you very much. Live from the some Greco. Bits, some bits and bits. Oh my goodness, more bits from Will mm. dropping in 24, 24. He can't help himself. So many bits. Thank you so much, Will. Um, we love you all. Is Tamsin back in Greece? Yes, she's holiday. just gone for a holiday, yeah. Oh man, whereabouts in Greece? I don't know, I guess Athens. I think that's where she was before, I could be wrong. I love Greece. Anyway, not the, the anyway, musical, indeed. but also the place. Greece is the word. Mm. Oh, my goodness me. Okay, we'll turn the logo back off. Okay, I've got one. Oh, I remember this. This is really cunty. <laughs> <laughs> I remember this, everybody. This oh, is... now she turns up. Yeah, she didn't want to see you, Duncan. Mm. No interest in seeing Duncan. She's here for Patty. Oh, it might drink. not be the same one. She's all about that captain. But you I think it is. A drink, do you? I think it is really. <laughs> I cunty. do have to have a drink. Yeah. <laughs> not that I'm drinking right now, but yeah. Am I the arsehole? Yes. <laughs> for not liking how my girlfriend dresses for work. <laughs> oh, you will remember this one. <laughs> Am I the arsehole for not liking how my girlfriend dresses for work? Shit me. That does not sound like a good start. You sound like a controlling and this coercive does not fox, sound don't you? Good. Is what you sound like, mate. <sighs> so I, 43M, don't think I'm in the wrong here. <laughs> I'll be the judge of that. Yeah, we will judge that for you, mate. <laughs> but, but just you wait. You're the arsehole, move along. Uh, but my mother is very angry at me. Yeah. But the mother is very angry at me. Well, and my best friend said I was a horrible person for saying what I did. And I'd be lucky if my girlfriend didn't put me out with the garbage. So, so I he... thought I might ask you what happened. <laughs> so he's already got two voices saying he's the asshole, but we're just going to take it to the internet to make doubly sure. That's... My best friend said I was a horrible person. By the way, my best friend said, and it's quite extended, I was a horrible person for saying what I did, and I'd be lucky if my girlfriend didn't put me out with the garbage since I decided I wanted to act like trash. Like, wow. 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 but I'm on wow. the fence. <laughs> but I'm still not sure. My girlfriend, 34F, uh is a preschool teacher, and for some reason I can't explain, she dresses like Ms. Frizzle. I don't know who that is. Now, I don't know who that is, but I presume it's a child's kind of, you know, kind of like TV show person, or something like, like Mr. Who's the one that looks like Tim Powell? I can't remember the painty one. In oh, um, Mr. Maker. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Maker, right. It's like a, like a, a kid's thing. Oh, Magic School Bus. Oh, Magic, oh, Magic School Bus. Oh, people know. Oh, okay. There you go. Um, um, the producer would like you to reread that bit in a normal voice. Which bit did I say wrong? <laughs> the uh, the bit about the friend, I think. Oh, I thought I really, I thought I nailed it, I director. Know. I thought you nailed it too. But there you go. Maybe because I did it like I did. Maybe you act read it like funny. trash, so you could go donk donk donk. And we, but listen, I'm happy. Listen, okay. I take notes. I could, no, good note. Good note. Um, so I forty three M. Don't think I'm in the wrong here, but my mother is very angry at me. And my best friend said I was a horrible person for saying what I did. And I'd be lucky if my girlfriend didn't put me out with the garbage since I decided I wanted to act like trash. My girlfriend, 34F, is a preschool teacher. And for some reason, I can't explain she dresses like Ms. Frizzle. Like a dress with the pattern of whatever they are studying. Do you know that Ms. Frizzle's from the Magic School Bus? Yo, Frizzle my nizzle. <laughs> it's something she never said. Um, uh, like a dress with a pattern of whatever they're studying. She makes a lot of them herself, now including matching masks. The kids love it, and the parents seem to think it's great. I don't like the amount of attention she gets, honestly. Oh, oh, I prefer if she came home and changed before running errands. On Friday, she helped my mum with something after work, and she was still in her weird dress. I've told her before I don't like the way she dresses, but she tells me I don't have to like it. <laughs> yeah, she tells me, but shut I the have... fuck up, you massive cunt. And I have no right. I leave you. <laughs> and I have no right to tell her how to dress. I was upset she went out like that with my mother. And I told her that my mum said she was embarrassed and to ask that she please not dress like that again if they're going out. I was not expecting her to call my mum and apologise. When my mum asked what she meant, she told her what I said. My mum was furious. 
explains she doesn't have a problem with how my girlfriend dresses and thinks it's great she spends extra time doing things to engage her students. My mum then yelled at me for lying to my girlfriend and trying to throw her under the bus because I was being an insecure jerk. Yeah, that pretty much covers it. Well done, mum. Wow. Great job. Mum's an awesome mum. So my girlfriend and I got into a huge fight. Hope he dies alone. No shit. <laughs> and I said she should be embarrassed to be seen in public like that. She said the only thing she was embarrassed by was me. Yep. Boom. Mic drop. She hasn't spoken to me or done anything for me since. My friend said I was horrible and called me trash. I shouldn't have lied, but I think my girlfriend, like, listen, if that's the only takeaway. Like, I think I got caught. Um, <laughs> I don't know whether I've done the right thing else. or not. I'll go to Reddit. They'll know. My friend said I was horrible and called me trash. I shouldn't have lied, but I think my girlfriend should take what I think about her clothes into consideration. And I'm not sorry when I double down. And I'm not sorry for expecting her dress more appropriately in public. Am I really such an asshole here? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. I don't even think we need to discuss this. Have you, is, have you finished? No. Okay. Edit. Oh, I'm sure you'll all be pleased to know we broke up tonight. Absolutely. I am pleased to know. Thrilled. Is here, elated, in fact. Let's throw a party. She said I'm too controlling and narrow-minded, so she broke yes. up with me. Yeah, yes. she's absolutely right. Correct. And so Jesus fuck. There's never, never, ever any when you're going out with someone, you don't get to read their diary, you don't get to tell them who they can talk to, you don't get to look at their phone or their Facebook, you don't get to tell them what they can wear. It doesn't happen whether you're a man or a woman or whatever, it doesn't matter, you don't get to say that. You think you can tell us what to do? Doom do dim. Fuck them. Fuck this guy. The best yeah. bit is the best bit of this story is you see some people that wouldn't break up with this guy and they'd stay in the relationship for fucking twenty years. The fact that she's immediately gone, you're a jerk, goodbye. You think is that you're better? Amazing. Yeah, and I hope that uh, his mother stays friends with this girl because she seems cool and uh, she think, absolutely deserves. I think his mum needs an Olympic medal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not every mum calls out their cunt to the sun. Yeah, no. Well, we really didn't need to discuss this very much. I think it is very clear, and I don't even think anybody can play devil's advocate on this one. This guy is probably Actually, the most. Though, when you think about it, degeneration. <laughs> 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 Degeneration X. No, I've changed my mind. He's still cut. Yeah, I'm back on. I'm back on. All right, great. Do you think that you're better? Because this guy is undoubtedly the arseholiest of all the arseholes. Mm -hmm. And there's the stamp to prove it. Break it down. Um. Well, actually, um, <laughs> actually, actually. Goodness me. Holy moly. So that's am I the arsehole? That it is am I the was arsehole? Was the section? So and I'm still awake, honestly. <laughs> Um, that was you, the arsehole that I section. <laughs> <laughs> um, you lovely chaps have got stuff planned for midnight, haven't you? Um, we've, gonna... got, we've got, we've got, we've had stuff planned for the entire time. Yeah, so I was yeah. going to say I might stick about till midnight and then clear off. If that's yeah, all right that's with cool. You. Okay. Is that a good timing? At midnight, we go into the blue section. Get mm. things get a little. Jesus, I don't blue. know if I'm ready for that. In that case, should I possibly grab some wine right now so oh! we can all partake? Yes, I'd love good? some wine. I would love wine. Okay, I'm I don't clear need to... these things. Was this that you're drinking from that one? Do you want that still out? <clears throat> yeah, I'm still drinking that one. I'll okay. put this over here. So that one is done as well. Cool. Let me right. move these things. Yes. It, uh, do you want to grab some wine glasses and then I will go and get the. Holy moly, thank you for sharing your wine with me and everything. Yeah, because I'll show you what it is and why I'm excited is it something about special? it. Something special. It is a special wine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like a you know million pound wine or anything, but it's it has a fun theme, and I'm excited about the theme. Hey, I'm excited to be a part of this. This is great. Yeah. Yeah, more wine. Yes, indeed. More wine. Did you hear about the little grape that got stood on and the noise it made? I did not. It didn't make a noise. It just gave a little whine. I don't know whether to laugh or that or cry, to be honest. Can I just pass you those to put on the table? Yes, you may. There's another one. Oh, that was a nice noise. That's a lovely noise. Why not, indeed? Yeah. Why not, indeed? Why not? Yes, so uh, to answer your previous question, from midnight we've got uh, the gaming section, basically. the uh, Let's do as much as we possibly can to keep us awake at all mm -hmm. on section of the night. So that's, yeah, that's uh, my... Uh, we're going to... At midnight we're going to crack into some uh, Jackbox, I think, to kick off. Do you need to do a thing at 11? Uh, no, it's at 12. Ah, oh, right, gotcha. Sorry. Every gotcha. three hours. Yeah, gotcha. Uh, so yeah, we'll do some Jackbox at, at 12, uh, following our short break. Mm -hmm. uh, We've got uh, WWE 2K23. We haven't played that yet. We're going to play that for the first oh, time. Oh, nice. That's nice. Uh, I think I'm going to play some Deathloop because right. I've never played that and Alex loves it. What is that? Uh, it's a game. I don't know much about it. It's mm. like timey-wimey and stuff. 
Gotcha. It does sound like the sort of thing he would like. Yeah, he really, he really, really likes it. Won't shut the fuck he, up about it. Honestly, he really um, wants his cock off. That so stuff, yeah, so. yeah. So I'm gonna play that and be terrible at it, and then in return, he's gonna play Spyro the Dragonfly and be fucking terrible at that, and I'm gonna laugh at him. So that'll be cool. Uh, Aletha asks if we can play the wheel. We certainly can play the wheel, Aletha. Absolutely. At midnight, Princess. The Rao. wheel is your oyster. Princess Rao's on the way out. He's got a strongman competition in the morning. Nice. So I've been doing some weights and I deadlifted 150 kilos. I'm just going to say say goodbye. Thank you for mm. joining us. Thank you very much for joining in and gifting the subs and all the wonderful things that you've done. Uh, hopefully see you in the morning at, at some point, even yes. if it's just a call in. Uh, but yeah, I've been doing some weights as well. So strong man, I'm all over that. Rail, rail yeah, is off. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, great. Well, I know they just said it. But thanks, very, thanks very much for joining us. We'll see you soon. Lithas, Lith says, I'll turn you off if you play the wheel. Is she a lover of the wheel? She does she, not. She absolutely loves the wheel. Yeah. She does not miss a wheel. She unironically loves the wheel. Is she, she's squeaky a wheel fan. Squeaky wheel, is she? she said, squeaky mm. wheel gets the grease. She does. Captain, but, our right. rear admiral. <laughs> now, does your wine require um, a corkscrew, or does your wine... That is a very good question. Because when you discover That's that, I will question. assist you or not. Because okay. one of these things requires zero assistance. One of these things It's quarter past assistance. eleven. That's me. Mm. Still going strong. Still going strong here at Borton Towers uh, for a ridiculous 24 hour stream. In the, in, the, in the south wing, aren't we? It does not require your assistance. Oh, good. It's been seven months, 21 days, and two hours since we failed that mission of collecting the nine phone boxes. Man, Brilliant. we've never, we've never, ever. Only seven months. I thought it was a lot longer than that. Though. It feels like I'm still playing it, uh, and I wasn't even playing it. Gentlemen. I have uh, purchased for us, purely out of main curiosity. I'm not talking to Mike. I have purchased for us. Yes. Mainly out of my own curiosity, but I felt like you guys would dig it as well. Yes. Uh, the House of the Dragon <gasps> Red Wine. Because <laughs> I really, what? really, really fancied fucking trying it. And it's in a beautiful Pedro bottle. It's got a, fucking, it's got a fucking dragon on it. Uh, we saw this on the we thing. Saw we wanted to try thing. this. Yeah, I, d so. I kept seeing it and thought, are we going to try Show it? Show it to the... Bring that in. Oh. Because it's got Pedro Pascal in the advert, like, like so yeah. sexy, like, yeah. Like, yeah, I drink yeah, of this when I'm fucking people before I get killed. <laughs> this is amazing. That is yeah. amazing. Well done, you. That's a really great choice. Um, Aletha might want some. Yes, yeah, so I was going to say, Aletha, by all means, come grab yourself a glass and, and come and have some. Uh, I'm going to hand that to you to do, oh. the, uh, to do the honours of the pouring. Oh, my goodness. This is, this is what your headache's like in the morning. <laughs> You wake up and you feel like there's a fucking dragon your head's inside like your head. Horus. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Is that the vomit coming out of your mouth? <laughs> is that what the fire is? Wow. Oh, okay. That's a good pour. It's a purple wine. It's a young wine. Yeah, no, that works. That's fair. Yeah, it works for me. If Aliza wants to come in and get some, we can get you for some. Definitely. Right, there you go. Thank you very much, sir. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to go too mad, but obviously mm. there's more if you feel you want more. Oh, this one's very rich. I think that... I can hear an Aliza coming. There's like one glass... It's the small. It's because I broke. We had four of these nice big glasses. One so, glass to rule them all. Is that is that Game of Thrones? Sure. <laughs> oh, this is good. Isn't it? This is really good. Oh, I only want a little bit. Do you want a little bit? Or do you want one yeah, to five? It's all the way oh, up. That's fine. All the way up. Try. All the way up. Just a little taste. All the way up. Wrong glass, sir. Right. Mm. Perfect for sitting around deciding how to Cheers. beat the triarchy while debating which of your relatives is fittest. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> to insurance. Hmm. Nice yeah, one. Very decent. Better than that Dornish swill, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I drink wine and I know things. Anybody else want to say a fucking line from the show? I can't remember any of them. It's been months since I've seen it. Well, somebody give me some wine. Tyrion, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in this boat for ages and I don't have any wine. Let me drink some wine. wine. Um, I was with Martin the other day and mm. we were watching something. I think it was Lord of the Rings. And he, and he was like, never trust an elf. And he turned to me and he said... Because everybody in a fantasy film's racist. <laughs> it's just that. It's whatever fantasy film you're watching, they'll have some hatred of somebody else. 
Mm. It's got a very warm, warm aftertaste afterwards. Mm. So that's it's quite well. Yeah, I feel that's kind of alcoholic because it's like when you hear that hits the back of your mouth a little bit. So we've talked before about that puckering of the tannins in your mouth. Puckering of the tannins. There Freaking isn't tannins. a lot of it, is there? In this, it's quite smooth. No, I feel my asshole is puckering instead. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a good sh- sign of a good of a good year. Mm. It was a very good year. So it's not. It's easy to drink. I can smell the glass. I can. It's got hints of glass. And uh, an aftertaste. Dragon glass, surely. Dragon, Dragon glass. glass. Ah, now we started. Oh, I've got a bit on my hand, just on my little finger. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that was too subtle a joke. I really dug that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of what All I can th- think. Blackwater. Uh, winter is coming. <laughs> this is the way. Oh, oh wrong fucking. <laughs> This is the way. <laughs> same guy. It's the same guy. He is the same guy, isn't he? Yeah. Hey, you know, he said the other day uh, he Pedro doesn't even. Pascal. Yeah, he, he doesn't said, even turn up. No, he, no. he just does the voice ADR. recording in a studio somewhere. He doesn't even bother showing up to the set anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, man, that's the fucking life, isn't that it? Is the life. Like, like it's... I can't believe you've got the House of the Dragon wine. This is amazing. It I is nice. Genuinely, nice. I was genuinely interested in it and, i've um, been i've been eyeing it up for a very long time and i'm like um i'll bring that i'll just bring that to dj mass one night but like we're doing it on a tuesday we do don't drink normally. it's a no, like, it's a very drinkable wine now it's a lot time. worse wine than it's this. cabernet sauvignon blend with shiraz so it's two households it's two grapes that are big time grapes like cabernet sauvignon's very very popular shiraz is very popular They're both big time popular full-bodied grapes and they blended them together in a massive inferno of dragon to be flame. fair what i have discovered in my very young red wine journey is that cab sav and shiraz are kind of the two two varieties that i like the most yes I think. so what's a malbec uh like a very, it's that I thing it's, that he likes i like malbec a great malbec way. again is quite a full-bodied wine argentinian mainly you'll get some french malbecs but it's mainly quite tanniny, isn't it yeah and it's quite heavy. quite strong quite heavy yeah, yeah. Malbec, if you go somewhere, you know you're going to get a... Man, we this is the wine cunt hour, isn't oh, it? Yeah. You've joined us for the wine cunt hour. You know, I'm you engaged know. in this. So what are the legs like on that? What are the legs? Let's have a look. I mean, the legs are quite... Are quite they're quite defined, but they're quite short. So it's not super sweet, but it's... Yeah. Also, the viscosity, it's kind of like... It clings to the glass. It just, you know, it sticks to the edge of the it's glass. Cling- i got to tell you, when people drink shit and they're telling you the flavours and the after flavours, I never get Oh, I'm going to fucking clue. I get like, the I've wine. got this app to like rate the red wines I do, and it's mm. like, what notes do you taste? Oh I'm like, um, no, I never taste the notes. haven't got a fucking clue. Hints of wine? I like IPAs. You know, I, I'm a beer man. Uh-uh. They, 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 That's they, the end they of that sentence. And, they try and do that with all of the IPAs and things, don't they? It's like, oh, oh what, it's got, what, it's got, what uh, notes do you taste in the, in the beer? I'm like, I don't know, hops and hops shit. Hops or citrus. <laughs> I like what beer do you like? I like a really strong hoppy taste because my palate's not that amazing that I can tell you hints of bin bag or whatever the fuck is in it. <laughs> you know, I, I don't know that. Or, but the one thing is when I had the gin, the really strong gin, the outlaw gin, mm. and she went, it's peppery. And I said, yeah, I get black pepper. I could get mm. that. But that's it because there's like two or three things in mm. there. But... The, the only thing I've managed to, to actually pull out of wine at any point is like a plum type flavour. The one I had last night was quite um, black and plummy. I do know that the wine I had last night was fucking shit. Let me tell you. The Shy Pig. Never the shy again. Shy Pig. It's not happening. It's fucking shit. Never buying that again. The Shy Pig. The like, Shite Pig. That's I'm not picking true. anything in particular out of this. Other than that, it's red wine taste. Red, red wine. Yeah, Chapel Bailey's taking notes over there. Oh, if it puckers your butthole, it's a good year. <laughs> Nice. I would say when yeah. I was seventeen, it was a very good year. When my pu- my bum hole got puckered, it was very good. It was non consensual, and it was never, the red and not spoken it. to that uncle ever again. Yeah, it has been difficult at Christmas since the puckering incident. The puckering. I can't be only one. The puckering. Mm-hmm. Right. Do we want to do something? I don't know. I'm just happy to sit around. But like, it's eleven eleven. It's not. It's eleven twenty-three. Enjoy this. Enjoy the chitty chat. Chat. Hmm. That's nice. We've seen the Sage Bambina in action. We could get in the sea. Yeah. We... I don't think we need to do the, the those yet. I think we can wait on that. Oh yeah. So we yeah, we wait. could do that. Otherwise, we can just chitty chat about stuff. And... 
drink Ooh. some wine and casually get Are you get hungry? Because I could night. eat something. I could d- always eat something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to put the oven on, maybe? Yeah, could do that. I'm happy to order some. Oh, we could some. order. Oh, we could yeah. order a little, a little thing. Maybe that's a good idea. Do we let, let these pricks be involved in that, or do we just choose what we want? Well, I would say pizza delivery, but I have pizzas in the fridge, so I've I could got pizzas pizza home, yeah. on. I was thinking of a little McDo. Oh, McYo. Oh. Order. Mm-hmm. Order. Now he's turned into the uh, Speaker of the House. Order. 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 My right honourable gentleman wanted a McDo, and he will have a McDo. Order. <laughs> McMeh. Meh. I mean, I could go for some nuggets. There you go. Nugs. Aletha, did you want some? McDo. Mm, I could definitely McDo. We were talking okay, about curry so earlier. Just... I just ordered some. Mm, nice. nice. Well, what curry think, did you have? I don't think curry's a great idea Honestly, <laughs> for staying up all night. <laughs> I, had a, I had a lamb Rajasthani the other day. It was fucking awesome. It's one of the best curries I've had in such a long time. Mm. Giant cheeseburger for me. Mm. Mm. You too can order from McDonald's. Well, do you want to pass my phone, which should be the end on the end of the uh, the sofa arm, I think. Or it's on the shoulder. What's a McDo? Ba, 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 ba. McDo, short for McDonald's. Burger King. McDonald's, the first four letters of It is short of for Burger King. Smart. Mm. Yeah. If you ordered, King, to, if you ordered King, from Burger King, King since King, that time, King. then they just didn't deliver our Burger I King. I have not. I have had Burger King since mm. then, but I have not ordered. I have not ordered from Just Eat since the night in wow. which we ordered a Burger King and it was not delivered. It just didn't come. Just Eat can fucking do one. You're going to order from Just Eat now. It's right? the only one I have. I, I use Just Eat all the time, but. <laughs> fuck. Mm. Fuck Just Eat. I don't care if you want to sponsor us. Go fuck yourselves. There's a girl. In my that office, like. called Justine, and she's. <laughs> Did somebody say? Do you want to just eat her? Justine. A little bit bigger person, and I said, "Doesn't really answer my I question." I said, "Hey, Justine," and somebody said, "Did you just call her Just Eat?" And I thought, "I fucking didn't, you prick, yeah. and you know it, and that's going to make it awkward because she's a bigger person, and now it just looks like I'm being an am I the asshole, and I'm not." Mm-hmm. It was a horrible thing to say. It really annoyed me. Quite rightly so, as well. Yeah. Um. Okay, folks. In... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one. It's, it's probably from the the, uh, the new Tesco. Yeah. Or is it the Sainsbury's one? Oh. Yeah, it's coming up the new Sainsbury's. Um, I think the one at Tesco. Thirty five. Oh, it does. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Whereas that one's a twenty four hour. So, how do you want to do this? Did you want to encourage anyone to say anything? But I don't know that I care what they think. I mean, I'm happy to have them choose something for me in addition to what I want. Well, do you want to have a look at that? But I'm, I'm not going to order what you want. But I'm not going to not have what I want. If you get it, I can pay PayPal you the money straight away. Yeah. 20 nuggets. I'll get you 20 and nuggets. And a McFlurry. I'll get you that. And, and then I'll go it. home and shit through the eye of a needle. And shit through the eye of a needle. Fill it off fish, all right? Burger. Ketchup, ketchup, ketchup. Burger. Am I saying no pickle, or are you going to eat my pickle? I'll eat your pickle any day. <laughs> you sound like fucking step toe. Wario. <laughs> Wario. I'm a Wario. <laughs> right. Okay, we've called Mario's uh, nemesis Wario. What about Luigi? Wow, Luigi. Fucking nailed it. That's in- that's how I imagine that must have gone. What about Toad Stools? <laughs> or Toad's, uh, whatever. Woad? Get the fuck out. Get, Get the, the fuck out. It's Wow Toad. You prick. Fucking idiot. Get the fuck out. Dodeca cheese drum. <laughs> I just can't see it happening. I'm I'm ordering half a dodeca cheese drum, so a, a hexa cheese drum, uh, and a. Uh, so far, I've got two triple cheeseburgers. I'm having a, uh, a chick- sept- mayo chicken, sept burger. No, it's seven, hex. six, hex, sept is five, is it? Oh, sept seven. seven. So it's a hexa cheese drum. Octa burger is next. Get twenty nugs each With and see you can eat them the quickest. No, it ain't me. Fuck. And the answer is always Captain Brilliant. So I inhaled it. I, I always it. said I'd do the Nugs Challenge. There's That's a, basic Nugonomics. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Word a, life. This is basic Nugonomics. Nugonomics. That's uh, a preview of what's to come tonight. So, I uh, basically went, I went in drunk into well. a McDonald's one time and this big yes. lad walked in and he basically went, he went, you all right, John? The usual? Yeah, stick 40 nuggets in. <laughs> the usual. The usual 24 yeah. hour stream should have 24 nugs. Can you even order that? It's the smallest one you can, Ooh, you can you only can. get 20, I think. What you do is you, you get a 20 order pack it. and a six, and you stick two up your ass. Um, up your ass. Uh, what do you want? You want a um, 20 nugs? He wants 24 nugs. 
26 and two for his ass. And two, it's stick two up your ass. Up two your for ass. the ass, one for the show. Mega hot sauce. A powerful blend of crushed red pepper and jalapenos. Yeah, yes, that's please. what you want. That's what I want shit me. That's what I'm I having want. one of those. Let's get a couple of those in there. Great, Alex is going to shit himself for three notes. years. Do I get those in my nugs? I don't know. Well, let's find out what they give us when we do that, and I'll get some anyway. Happy Meals have four nugs. That's true. So you would get 20 and could a half. Could you get meal. four sixes and do it that way? You could get four you could sixes. Get four sixes. That'd probably cost you a lot, though. Oh, yeah, you can get mega hot sauce. Probably be cheaper to get. Do I get three sauces? 20 nugs. You get four. What can I have two? Your options are. Garlic mayo, mega hot, barbecue, sweet and sour, sweet curry and ketchup. They've added get, garlic mayo. I'm going to get two sweet curry and two mega hot, please. Okay. Put so the logo you... back on there. We've stopped doing the Hamaniasa. <clears throat> and you want a McFlurry, yeah? Yes, please. The big one. The shakedown, the payoff. Yeah. And McFlurry. I think I'm going to go with Smarties in it. Okay. Let me just... What are the options? The options are Whisper. Yeah. Can I have <laughs> that was excellent. I like Jake's like I do. Whisper Gold. Good luck with that one. Gold. Can I have a one with the smart? Is it? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, Whisper Whisper Gold Oreo uh-huh. Maltesers Smarties Smarties. Only Smarties have the answer. Yeah, beat me to it. Um, that joke was so bad. The fucking police are coming. Look at it. <laughs> I want a McDonald's. Um, Aletha, did you want anything? No, she didn't answer. Don't get her out. Don't get her out. <laughs> Fuck it <laughs> up. Keep elbowing your mic stand. Sorry. Do you know what? I like a fillet of fish, says Ali Law Law Law, and no one else ever. <laughs> I think Brogan suggested a fillet of fish for you to. Yeah, that's the punishment, though, isn't it? But yeah. is I mean, I, I'm I... false. I did answer. I did look, but I, I think I must. It went down. If you want to get me a fillet of fish, then by all means. Get me a fillet of fish. You can buy me a McDo if you want. I did have one earlier. Oh, did you? Oh, you, oh, you went out and got one. Fatty, oh, I fat, see. Fat, yeah. Fatty Bombalatis had two McDonald's in one day. Well, it's up to you if you want something. Just let me know before I order. Mm. Um, Chicken tikka masala and garlic naan for Chapel Bailey. Oh, that's, nice, uh, nice, that's nice, nice. That's a great nice. choice. I do like a tikka masala. You... I would eat some nugs. How many nugs would you like? 24 nugs. If she wants two, you can get <laughs> <laughs> Jez likes filet of fish though. Yeah, I'm not bothered about filet of fish. It's is filet favorite. of fish the, the thing that you order when you hate yourself? It's the fish burger, yeah. yeah. You know, I don't see the need to order that shit. She yeah. does want 24. She said 24. You want 24 nugs? I thought you just wanted like a little extra. How are we going to do 24 Oh, nugs? little cute girl. Oh, you had a Wendy's. Did you have a Baconator? I fucking love a Baconator. Triple Baconator. Oh, fucking, yeah, Wendy's makes me very jack. Um, it's so weird, but a on. twenty nuggets and a and a happy meal, or sit four sixes. It's far too much maths for this time of night. Can you get me a fillet of fish or something. Yes, <laughs> fillet of fish for everyone. <laughs> you get a fillet of fish. You Wait, get a fillet. Of what fish. sauce has it got in it? Uh, I don't yeah, know. You, uh, no, I don't, I, I don't want the fish. In there. They're sauce in it. Whatever the sauce is. Fish burgers in general are nice, but a fillet of fish. Fun. Filet of fish is way, way too chewy and cheap. Yeah, that's why you put ketchup in it, so you moisten it down a bit. She's always, little cute girl's always getting that baconator. Do you know what dips do you want? 20 is fine, says Aletha. Oh. It, 20 is fine. It's, it, it is what? so cheap. The difference between like 9 and 20 is a pound. What dips do you want? Just all ketchup. Or can I use one of your things as a mega hot sauce for me? Do that. Well, I'm doing it. Do that. She won't, she five mega she hot won't need that much sauce. She'll like ketchup. She, she doesn't eat ketchup. a lot of sauce, does she? Sauce. Ketchup, ketchup. And more ketchup. Lemon ketchup. Um, get whatever dips. I have sauce at home. Oh, awesome. I have sweet curry. La di, Elise. One of each, please, boss. Um, we've got some barbecue from uh, when... For when uh, uh, Tom was around. From the before times. From before. Before it happened. You're not getting carrots or anything, Jess. She's not here, mate. She's in a completely different she, premises. She doesn't live here. <laughs> Pay close attention. And she's probably in bed by now. Now, she's what do I want? I'm thinking... She's got any common sense. She's in bed by now. Spicy, big, tasty. So that, that child will wake her up at six in the morning. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, we're in Borton Towers, and despite the many, many wings he has, uh, Keris does not th- live here. There was not enough room for, for Keris today. Oh, this will do. You'll do nicer. Uh, <laughs> nope, I have no common sense. Well, it's often been said, you are married to me after all. <laughs> See, do I want the big taste, which I had the other day, or do I want a trip cheese and just some trick of chicken selects or something? You want a trip cheese and some Do you want to flip a coin on it and see what happens? Sister. Oh, I'd be curious to do that. Because I do like a big taste. I had one the other day when we were doing PCW. But um, I had, didn't really eat it very well because I don't like... Mm. While we're doing this, I'm going to open up the... Uh... Uh, the competition once again, and we'll do okay, one more before Captain idea. Brilliant wins. Give him the opportunity to win the. Uh, I fucking want that Transformers, the Transformers so comic book. So. I'm gonna have myself a, a gorilla, 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 gorilla. Ah, oh, cool. A gorilla, gorilla, gorilla. Or gorilla. No, 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 gorilla. no non-gorilla. I'm gonna open it over here. Exclamation twenty-four in the chat to enter the, uh, the competition. Fruit bats in. Well is in. Little cute girls in. Uh, who won last time? Nova. Nova, you can't enter this one. I'm sorry. No, no repeat back to back winners. No repeat Big cheese. tasty with bacon or trip cheese. Big tasty with bacon or trip cheese. He selects. Do you know I don't know the answer between Big Tasty. I had it last time. It was good. Obviously, I love You've, it. You've uh, got a sexy little Prime subscription there, Captain Brilliant. If you'd like to uh, to use it on somebody worthwhile, like you know us, for example, just hit that button. It's totally free. Makes our uh, our lactors go like rock and roll and shit. We put the music on just in case. Does it? Yeah. All right, let's have some of that. Subscribe. Subscribe. How do I do this? Should be a subscribe with Prime button or something. Have I got one spare? Well, unless you've used it this month. I think I might subscribe to Nova. Yeah. Sorry. I have to spend five of them. <laughs> <laughs> Seems fair. Um, <laughs> like a like a domestic violence victim. Do as you told. Do <laughs> fucking spell your fiver. Do as you told. It's your money. It's not your money. It's my money. It's your money until it's my money, and then it's my money, and now it's my money. Do you okay. know Andrew Tate? Unfortunately, I, I'm familiar. I don't know a great deal about him. My impression is that people tell me he's a bad person, and yeah. I understand that. Yeah, I, I don't know anything about him. What has he done? Uh, he he ran a uh, forced prostitute ring. He like sex traffics people. So he's in a grey area, really. Neither. <laughs> but <laughs> oh, I can't do it through my phone, and I can't do it online because my laptop's locked. Really? How did you do that? I forgot my pin. Uh, basically, I was using my fingerprint scanner, and then there was something on my finger, and it went, "No, that's not good enough. I want your pin," which I haven't used for about three years, so I couldn't remember. And then it went, "Ah." Oh, so you can unlock other other ways? I went, yeah, clicked on other ways, and it went, oh, your Microsoft account can unlock you. But you've just chosen to change your details, which I had. So your Microsoft account's unavailable for the next 30 days. So you've got to wait for that to... So I've got to wait for the, the security details to change. And I think, in my heart of hearts, that that, that is bobbins. It is a bit nonsense. Yeah, yeah, 30 yeah. days? Like, what takes 30 days? Nothing. You get a passport it's... quicker. I assume hackers get bored after 30 days mm. is probably the answer. He was so reprehensible, he was ejected from Big Brother. I mean, is that the US Big everyone? Brother? And his brother got owned on Shipwreck. Was that his what, Big Brother? What was he famous mm. for before being a cunt? Was he his Big Brother on Shipwreck? So he got kicked out of Big Brother and his Big Brother was on Shipwreck. Mm, the UK one. Oh, really? I don't watch it, so I don't know. Um, well, he also runs a university that you pay a ridiculous amount of money to learn like man skills at, which is... Jesus. Which is way teaches you to be something kickboxing. Ah, oh, right. Yeah, that explains why I don't know who he is. I just, I just I've only seen bits of him, and I don't really. He, he keeps popping into YouTube and various thingy feeds, and I don't know anything about him. Big Brother Seventeen. Jesus fucking He's Christ! Still it went going? on that long. Seems unnecessary. He, he then ran the Masculinity University sex cult from Romania. Oh, right. He was nicked in. Romania, wasn't he? They arrested him. He was, yeah. He got Theta, Grum- uh, Theta what her name is, Grumberg? Yeah. <laughs> she fucking owned him. It was fantastic. In what way? What in a she, dip- she managed to uh, trick him into doxing himself so that the police knew where he lived and could go and fucking get him, and it was incredible. That's really <laughs> cool. <laughs> like, for all the things that she's done, she actually physically did something. That's yes. really cool. 
<clears throat> I am. Um, I went for the big tasty because I love it. I need to taste it again. There you go. You the can... triple cheese will always be there. The selects will always be there. The spicy big tasty may not be. What about the rib witches? It's not on there. It's actually the. Uh, it's, it's called York. Now, mm. is it? That's his junior. <laughs> Fifty-seven quid. That's right. the thing. Yeah. Mm. Tis the year of revivals. Yeah, they're bringing everything back, aren't they? Uh, it turns out in the conversation I was having with Harmstone uh, yesterday that uh, in bringing back gladiators, oh yeah, uh, okay. I actually know one of the gladiators. Which one is it? Jet? Uh, no, uh, mm. one of the new gladiators, not one of the old ones. That's a shame. Yeah, because Karis beat him in a powerlifting That's competition. Yeah, that yeah, guy. Yeah. yeah, 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 that guy. Mm. Who who I'm very loosely related to now because his cousin married my cousin. <laughs> oh. Cool, 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 cool. You've got a gladiator in the family. Well, it's very extended. I don't even know what relation that is. I don't think it is an actual relation. Mm. Like the cousin of a married no, that's cousin. Really cool, though. They're like superheroes. So if you get into the shit, you can call him up. Mm. You can come and I mean, I'm, I think I might call him up and try and get an interview for my website. But there you go. You should do that. Yeah. He used to teach in folks. I mean, he did. He taught at the academy when mm. I was also there. Oh, really? What was the weird thing I showed you the other day, speaking of your website, about Spider-Man in a giant robot? In oh, yeah, that was uh, uh, long before uh, any of the kind of things that I'm into, like Super Sentai and Kamen Rider and all that existed. Uh, there was a live action, including giant robot Spider-Man series that Stanley headed in Japan. Huh. I knew about the one in, there's one in the 70s or something. That's the one. 70s yeah, I think in... it's like 1978 or 79 or well, something. Was there one like in that. America that I used to watch on the TV over here? Uh, I think you'll lame. find that was the Japanese one that was then dubbed. <laughs> really? Yes. That was the only live action series of the, of the 70s. The rest was all So that's animation. been going on. That sort of thing has been going on for a long time. Yeah, yeah. Take Japanese he, he had a giant robot called Leopardon. <laughs> it looks like a leopard. Mm, it does look like a leopard because mm. that's what it's based leopard on. Leopardon. Yeah. Uh, if you do want to watch it, I have the whole series. <laughs> I now want to watch it more than anything. So mm. I will. Is it on DVD or is it? I can chuck it on it. USB stick or something. Brilliant. Just bring me a brilliant, USB brilliant. stick. Over. Once yeah, yeah. I've got an exam in a week, and then um, I yeah. will uh, yeah. definitely watch that. You know where I am. Oh. Right. In the competition, we have Ali Law Law Law, Captain Brilliant, Karis, Dr. Fruitback, James31, Aletha, Lil Kugel86, Mojo Jojo, and will any further takers for the competition? Uh, it, this is basically for DGMS 100 shit or the comic that Captain Brilliant wants. I want so, it so bad. If you uh, win Duncan you just wants it. to win. He doesn't even care what I he expect gets. to win. <laughs> he just wants to win something. I feel the spell about to be broken. Mm. You know, I hope he... No, I don't. That's a lie. I hope he doesn't. Yeah, you've got to be honest. Yeah. Got to be true to myself, especially in this time. Someone just jump in there? Someone did just jump in there. That Ali was Lola. Harmstone, I think. Mm. Harmstone There's a lot of people in. here. But almost midnight. There are a lot of people. I wonder how many of them will stick with us for. Uh... Listen, I know what this is like. I used to watch ABG and I try and stay until about two, then I'd just be like. Out I mean, I never count. got that far. I think 11 is where I bowed out. I might be like uh, one and then fall asleep and wake up at three. I remember waking up at like 4 a.m. or something like that and he was doing this thing and this person really wants to win the mouse map thing. And I woke up and went, it's kind of like, it was me and Ali were the only ones up, like blocking this guy at every <laughs> turn. It was so funny. I mean, for little cute girl and Nova, it's only like quarter past three in the afternoon. That's true. It? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll we'll have them for a little bit, hopefully. I'll enter in. If I win, Rear Admiral can have his comic. That's very kind of him. That is amazing, MJ Hamster. Where is it? ABG? It's Where, good, he's not, it's a good question. not really streaming. I, I met up with him in Bedford not so long ago, and he was just like, I, you know, I'm kind of done with it, basically. Um, so, oh, really? Yeah. That's a shame. Yeah. But he's doing well. He's really cool and he's having fun and he's enjoyed his living streams. his life. Yeah, yeah, me too. I'm a big, big fan. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Right, here we go then. Good luck to everyone except obviously for Duncan the singer. Here we go. <laughs> Sound on for it. Yeah. It's amazing. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> really lucky thing in the back. I'll put the back. You've got two chances to win. Right. Unless the backpack is on offer, it is not. <laughs> not yet. <gasps> it's Will! It's Will! Will's won it! It was Riggs. almost the Harmstone. Fucking rig. <laughs> Will, do your best. Fight the monster. Here we go. You've got to say something else again. This is so rubbish. <laughs> You've still got to say something, Will. Will, say anything. If he doesn't do that, do we do it again? 
say something. I'm <laughs> keep your I mean, if, if you know if what's he good. defeat the monster, we'll be left with no choice. So, we'll hello, Wolfie. Again. Welcome Will, in. Will, Will, Will. Wonderful to see you. Will, Will, just, Will, you must. Will, kill. if you know what's good for you, keep your Jesus fucking mouth fuck. shut. <laughs> Will, you've got to kill the thing. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! Oh, no, Will got <laughs> killed. Will just came in just. just the... <clears throat> oh wow. my fucking god! My ribs are breaking. <laughs> Better spin it again, and Will can't be in this time. <clears throat> I mean, I don't know really whether it's... this has never happened before. Just he died. R.I.P. Will. Will he didn't win it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't not give him something. That's I know, I know, I know. I can't I know, not I know, just I know, give him the middle finger. He lost. <laughs> I can't take him. I take he away. Got eaten. He did get eaten. Like so, let's not rub it in. Oh, I've got like three lemons in my bag. Can we send him a lemon? Listen, You're a fucking lemon, mate. <laughs> Life is a lemon, and I want my money back. Uh, what would you like, Will? A lemon. And <laughs> kick me. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, we'll respin, but he's still in. I feel bad, but I that's the well. rule. You gotta eat. You gotta kill the monster. Mm, you gotta kill the monster. Right, do it again. Uh, he's I, still in. I tell you what. Why don't Why don't we send him uh, a glass of the remainder of the House of the Dragon wine? Yeah, how will that work? We'll, well find a way. A to we'll, we'll just drink a bit of it and then send him it. He's oh, local. Yeah, he It'll get to him before that. it expires. There you go. Job yeah. done. Okay. Cool. I mean, we we'll just drive it up to him. Like, yeah. Have some wine. There you nothing. Go. <laughs> what he lost. I love Will, but still nothing for Will. <laughs> <laughs> we are lost, and you still don't feel bad. Yeah, yeah but yeah. you guys haven't dropped like almost a thousand fucking so he, bits today. Ollie, Ollie <laughs> Do you know what he fucking? He's fucking earned. He has absolutely earned, I can't... earned a bit of grace, like a bit a, of grace, literally a second grace on defeating the monster. Do you know what? We're get we He's fucking typed in a billion times, and all the things have been money, and yeah. now we're like grousing over that yeah, thing. Fuck yeah. that no, shit. You, no, you can can't. have some wine, Will. You're having some wine. There you go. Um, I think he'd rather have the wine than he and would and have and the Transformers <laughs> book. And, and now he's and yet, dropping us even more money. Yet. There you go. <laughs> definitely, he's done. definitely having some wine. Oh, man. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, right. So we'll leave all the names of... in as they exist. If anybody else wants to join again, do. I'll give you another 30 seconds. Exclamation 24 if you want to get involved. Fucking hell, that was stress. Like Try, you gotta kill the thing. <laughs> all you have to do is type our word. You literally type anything. Absolutely anything in the chat and it kills the monster. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Let's respin so I can win the rear admiral comic. He's he's saying this, but I bet if he actually wins, he's gonna say, and I'll have the comic as well. Thanks. Send it with my Trebuck. <laughs> you get nothing, Captain. You got to kick Will. We don't, not kick him, but No. No. We'll leave him Will in. No, yeah, yeah. He's got he's won a consolation prize. He's fine. We'll leave him there. We're not kicking Will. No. Uh Dr. Fruitbat is in. Not sure if you were in before, but you're in now. Uh, Brogan's joined in as well. Let's... Am I still in there? Yeah, let's have a look. Let's yeah, go no through the list. Really uh, uh, Ali's in. Brogan's in. Uh, Captain, you're in. Karis nice. is in. Dr. Fruitbat's in. Duncan's in. James is in. Aletha's in. Ashley's in. Harmson's in. Mojo's in. And Will's in. Any else? Any last takers? You're already in, James. Don't you worry. Backpack will be in the morning. Mm. Very early What's in the, the morning. Backpack? It's like a Division 2 backpack that I won off ABG stream ages ago. And, uh, yeah, everyone really, really wants really it. It's that backpack you came in and said, <laughs> who wants a shit? I want a shitty backpack. Do you remember Oh, yeah, that on one? your last appearance on the, on this stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. shitty that backpack. One. That's the one. I'm like, well, I got this one. No, go fuck yourself. <laughs> it does sound like something. And then I the next say. day we went up, me, you and Reese, and went up to do the beer festival thing, whatever, and I mm -hmm. pretend I'd lost it on That's the train. That's when he pissed my brother off. Yes. What, Reese? Yeah, he kept smacking my brother on the ass. My brother said... If you smack me on the ass again, there's going to be a falling out. And we went, okay. And then my brother got in the escalator and we ran up to him, pulling his arm around and around and <laughs> smacked my brother on the ass so hard. And I just saw my brother just turn around <laughs> like this. I was like, you fucking got a tiger by the tail, dude. Your brother doesn't suffer any of this he shit. Doesn't. I don't know how your brother attracts this stuff like Owen's just as bad. Like oh. Owen comes up and says all this stuff to him. I just And like Reese is, I don't know. You think he nobody would push your brother, but people love they to. They seek him out. They seek him here. They seek it's him. It's not there. just them. He always... touched him on the derriere. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? All right, here we go. Remember, if you win, you have to then say something Kill in the chat, but the not mod. too quickly because otherwise you've got to do it again. Just so keep saying stuff. Just keep, just keep chatting. Okay, here we here we always go. be here we chatting. Go. 
Daddy needs some new shoes. It's time for a super awesome giveaway. We do like a super awesome giveaway. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Uh, Night, lucky. Karis. Feeling See you in lucky, the morning. Feeling lucky. It's spinning like a motherfucker where it stops, nobody knows. Who's it gonna be? It's Karis! On the way to bed, Karis wins. Fix, fix. Karis wins. The, she might be already. The stuff, the stuff that's been in my house the whole time. Yes. Uh, <laughs> which is either the Transformers comic or it's. The or more comic, of that stuff. Or it's which more she doesn't want. Yeah. So there Karis. you go. Say something. Karis, please let me have the. Oh, comic. she went to bed. Reroll. <laughs> You might not do it. Kerry, let me yeah. in. I go shit. Mm. Oh, she might just let it kill her. I mean, her. If, if, the, if the monster kills her as well, then you have, have to do it again. Yeah, 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 yeah. How much do you want the stuff that's already been in your house to stay in your house? <laughs> a monster winning... I've never seen a monster eat two things. But as I'll a have result, a cup of coffee, thanks. Oh, that was a choice as well. Yeah, a cup of coffee from your machine. I'll make her a cup of coffee. There you go. Job done. Donate nothing. And, and that's all the time we've got for uh, for competitions here. Uh, Captain, <laughs> did you mention that you were leaving or uh, something like that? <laughs> Do you want to spin, <laughs> spin the wheel? Of... One more? Yeah. One more spin. I, I Who's in for one more spin? I'm here for one more spin. spin. One Come more on. spin. Spin the it. wheel. <laughs> we all love the wheel. Right, I'm going to kick Karis out. Spin it. There spin you go. It. One more spin. Exclamation <laughs> 24 if you were not one already in for, for this last round. Nana's joined in as well. Less chances of the captain, Shit. the rear admiral. Come on. Getting it. Honestly, he's going to leave. Can we up exclude and Duncan too for fun? No, it's more fun that Duncan is in and never wins. That's, that's the, that's the true spin. fun. I expect to win. <laughs> I expect to win. <laughs> never exclude Duncan. Yeah. They do. The fun we had is the Duncan not winning along the way. <laughs> I'll exclude you from oxygen in a minute. Yeah, but he's going to win sooner or later. I wouldn't. I wouldn't really Don't bank bet on, on him. Picard, and, yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> uh, thirty seconds. Oh my god! Oh, I need to get some more Pepsi. Perhaps, uh, Captain, you'd be so kind. No, I can't. Okay. I can't just leave right now. I think so I better nice. leave right some, now. Um, I brought some cola. If you want some cola, I, I brought loads. I just didn't realize we were out to bring some. Boom! Smash. Boom! Fuck you! Boom! Here we are at ten to midnight. Ten to halfway. Ten to halfway, indeed. Uh, Started at lunchtime, yeah? We did. Yeah. Mm. I oh, hope uh, you guys are hanging around. Straight after midnight, after our little uh, midnight break, we're going to do some Jackbox. Jackbox! Nice. How long's your break? Is that like 20 minutes or something? Oh, it's probably about five minutes. Yeah. Enough time to eat your piss, McDonald's. Piss. Oh, our McDonald's is coming. McDonald's yeah, well, when, when we've coming. got... If we, uh, we can eat the McDonald's whilst we're playing Jackbox because okay. then it's a little bit more obvious that Jackbox is on rather than McDonald's. Oh, yeah. My God. yeah, than us yeah, eating. Yeah. Uh, if any of you want any more wine, help yourself, by the way. Mm. I've got I a beer on the show. have <laughs> some uh, Pepsi. Midnight break. What are you doing on a midnight break? Taking a piss, mate. Having a wank. Here, taking a piss. <laughs> wank break. Wank break? Fucking wank break. We don't even have a tea break. <laughs> can you take it in turns to have a break? Fuck off. No. Well, I mean, we could have done, but we don't need to. So it's Ali La La La, that person who's just constantly uh, checking on rules and things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah always checking. Now, hang on a minute. Uh, this isn't in the bylaws, actually. One of you has to be on the screen at all times. Um, so... Yes, it's not technically 24 mm, hours. Yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. Good luck to everyone except for Duncan and, and now Captain Brilliant as well. Because oh, that's come fun. On. Feeling lucky, feeling lucky, feeling lucky. Lucky, lucky. So much fun every time we do The this. question is what Duncan gets if he wins. Do you think he'll take the comic? Possibly. So I think it said five past midnight. Five to twenty. Five past twenty past. I mean, it should be not difficult to work out which one is the, <laughs> the house emblazoned in light. Fucking I'm sure they'll find it. Fuck it up. It went past our two troublemakers. And little cute girl wins it. Ashley wins. Now... She's already won, so she won. She's the, already um, got the DGMS goodie. So she pack. doesn't want. So the that. only choice, really, she is, might let is me the comic the, book. She might let me. Have she the might let you have it. But first, I did say earlier. I did first, say earlier. She's got to fight the monster. She's got to fight the monster. And she fights it. In it's like going to brilliant. <laughs> it's going to brilliant. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Never let it be said she isn't like your biggest fan. Do you know? What I said earlier. I said you're my favorite. You are still my favorite. 
Go on, go and get it. <laughs> oh, it's Christmas is here early. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Where is it? Behind the... It's there somewhere. That's it. He's, he's very happy. You have you have thoroughly upset Duncan the singer now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no! Uh, no! God! No! <laughs> shit! I don't want it. <clears throat> I read it. I read it. I'll take it on. I need some toilet paper. <clears throat> it's more than meets the eye. Oh, mate, look at the fucking state of it. Who's on the front of that? It's fucking Megatron, isn't it? Megatron! Megatron! Yeah, he's the poster child. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> she he meant, meant it's... it's going to be brilliant when I don't give it to the Rear Admiral. <laughs> Well, what? Well, <laughs> well let's... thank you, Ashley, but it's too late now. The transaction is complete. <laughs> well, <laughs> better find some new prizes. You have made morning. a bald man very happy. Thanks you... very much for joining in the giveaways. You guys don't understand Bostonians. Yeah, both Massachusetts <laughs> and Lancashire. <laughs> is that Boston in Lancashire? It is, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Let's, we don't talk about the Lancashire one, though. Really? Yeah, it's Lancashire. 10,000 holes in Boston Lake. I, I don't know your strange northern rivalries. It's all the fucking north, mate. The civil war that we had. All fucking north. You all sound the same. <clears throat> other we, other we, races. We don't. We, <laughs> we don't. Well, no, you're right. The Geordies sound different. But the rest of you sound Ulrit. the same. And the, jo- and the, uh... the Scousers, they're different yeah. too. Where does the north begin? That's the Watford Gap, right? Boom. We were in that the other day. Watford, Watford Gap, same place. There you go. Lincolnshire. Oh, there you go. That's definitely not north. Lincolnshire's no, that's, Midlands. Yeah. They do good sausages. Isn't, um, isn't, um, what am I trying to say? Where's Watford Gap? Isn't that the Midlands? It's just north of London. Oh, Midlands conversation yeah. again. Mm, here we go again. Uh, good night, all. I'll pop in for a bit before mass in the morning. Thank you for all the bits, Will. Much appreciated. Yes, thank, thank you very for much. You've been very spending generous. your time with us all day. All, yeah, much all appreciated. Joking awesome, man. Thank you. Watford, thank you. And, Lolo. and there will be some wine coming your way, I assure you. Yeah. Watford Gap is in Watford. Well, who fucking That's what you? I thought. <laughs> Why well, use ten words when one will suffice? Mm. Just call it Watford. Who cares if we've got a gap? Stop bragging. What time is the breakfast show? Kicks off from about six, doesn't it? I think we've got seven. seven. We went seven, yeah. Breakfast yeah. show papers I've written down, but we can't get the papers. So we're going to look it up on our phone. No, that's two hours of, of papers, apparently. <laughs> and we weren't two really, we didn't papers. really put it you together. Didn't need very... uh, yeah, I think we could probably do crossword for more than an hour. I think we just didn't know what to do, so we just maybe yeah. nine o'clock or something like that. Yeah, Who I knows? mean, I've, I've also. I'll be asleep, so I don't give a fuck. I've still got so... some other shit that, uh, that we haven't done yet. There's no news on a Sunday. There, so... Yeah, nothing happened. No, but it, there's What's news on the breakfast on show? Crosswords and. Yeah, we're doing, cross, we're doing cross crosswords and, bacon. and chill. Uh, we're going to cook some breakfast. Nice. Uh, have, eat some breakfast. Nice. Um, and it's basically kind of segments that you would expect would fit in quite nicely into a breakfast show. Uh, we've got controversial opinions tapped for that, which will include the debut of a brand new Sting as uh, performed by Rooster Beast. Oh, so, so that'll make exciting. its debut tomorrow. Okay. So um, we've got some Agony with Alex for the morning as well. We've got quite a few of those, actually. Nice. Alex gone sort it out. Um, we haven't done Get in the Sea yet, and I don't anticipate us doing that before we get gaming, so we'll probably put some things in the sea in the morning as well. Mm. Um, yeah. And anything else we've got left? We've still got a bunch of fucking arseholes. We've got some Tfus left. So, yeah. Should be a, a hot start to the day, uh, and it better be, otherwise I will just sleep through the entire thing. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> that better be on catch up then, because I ain't waking up early. Harm son, you will get the That's fuck up good. and so do your job. That's what you will do. Cool. It's three minutes to midnight. That's not the song. You've got to wait another minute, and then it's the song. Two minutes to midnight. So yeah, you're gonna have a break at midnight, and then I'm gonna go. Are you gonna go? Well, this three hey. minutes could be a wonderful opportunity for you to say goodbye to say people your things then. you want to say. Hey, mm-hmm. so it's been great to be here. It's been great to be streaming again and see you and see everybody in the in the chat. Thank you, little cute girl. Flipping love you, and Nova, and everyone else as well. It's great. Um, this is something I haven't done in a while. It's nice to just dip your toe back in mm. and do it. Um, I think like I've got some 
exams coming up for my work, but after my work, I'm very much looking to do a podcast, which hopefully both of you will be on oh, absolutely. at some point. Sure thing. So that's something I'm looking to do moving forward. Thank you, little cute girl. Uh, see you later, Batman Oreo. Um, but yeah, uh, other than that, it's been really cool. Uh, good luck with it all. And when I wake up in the morning, I'll check in with you guys through the chat and that and see how you sweet, all Sweet, sweet. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I hope it goes well. It's been really fun. Yeah, yeah, and obviously, you know, you're welcome to come and join us on any regular episode of DJMS here and yeah, we'll here have and there. you back on again. Absolutely. When, now that we've worked out this three microphone thing. Well, moving forward, all I would say is in the future, I've got two of these mics at my house. Yeah. And the cables and and the road arms and everything. So if you ever need to borrow or you want to use or we want to bring them in, we can do that. Yeah, that sweet. is not a problem. Perfecto. I bought Owen's one. We now have two. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Mm. Well, it's about to hit midnight. Thank you, MJ Armstrong. That's really cool, man. Thanks. Um, It's been great to have you on. Mm. Um, Good to drink your cocktails. I'm glad to make them. I love making them. Yeah, it's very kind of you to come and cater to us, basically. (laughs) I know. I just chucked some stuff in a bag. We've got some food. Your your McDonald's is coming, though, right? Well, well, I'll probably sit with a leaf for a chat to her for a bit and eat my McDonald's out of the way. But yeah, you guys are going to go. See you later, Welsh Nana. And you little cute girl. Yeah, shortly. All right, cool. Well, we're going to take a break. Do hang around. We're going to jackbox it up and then you can watch us being shit at video games for the majority of the night. I do uh, hope that some people stay with us. Otherwise, we'll just sleep on the sofa. Yeah. And you can watch yeah, us yeah. sleep. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. See you later. <laughs>